Well, hello there, good adventurers, and welcome to High Rollers Dungeons and Dragons. It's me, Mark Sherlock Humes, your Dungeon Master. As always, I'm in my Steve Jobs esque turtleneck. It's not a turtleneck, Ooh. it's a jumper. Uh, and we are ready to play some Dungeons and Dragons. I am, of course. Yeah. Sorry, what was that? Yeah. <laughs> oh, lovely. <laughs> I am, of course, joined by the chorus of. Yeah. Over on this side of the table. Rihanna, Trot, and Kim. Perfect. And on the other side of the table. Okay, just one. We are joined by Tom and Katie. Hello. Hello. Hi. Welcome, everyone. Um. Happy Easter! Oh, Happy Easter, Easter, Easter Sunday! Easter. We're, we're not sponsored by not Green Lantern. But this was a little Christmas. Happy Just Easter. We got us some egg. Thanks, yeah. we got Easter egg. All the company. Um, Easter eggs. <laughs> Rihanna got them. Yeah, the Rihanna company physically paid got for them. them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so happy Easter. As always, we're going to celebrate the way that the good Lord intended by playing some Dungeons and Dragons. It's a mix to a Satan ritual. Satanic panic. Yeah. 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 some demons. Resurrection, resurrection, resurrection. Hey, listen. Somebody cast resurrection on Jesus in the cave. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. So. The big G up there. No. Got the big G. They paid their 5,000 oh, GP diamond. Yeah. 5,000. back in. Yeah, I think so. For oh. Just say amen. 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 Oh, amen. amen. Oh, oh, we are back in the studio, as you can tell. This is, you know, we're still very excited about it. We're to be here in the studio. Hopefully, a couple of little things that should be a little bit better. There should be a couple of little technical changes, just improvements. Mm. We're going to keep tweaking little things as we go, um, but do keep letting us know. What, you know, in various places, if you do spot little things that aren't working quite right or if things don't sound right, do let us know after the episode. Don't put it in chat, because we're not looking. Yeah. Um, I'm blind, sorry. Also, one thing I wanted to mention is we had some feedback last week about not including the intros, this chaotic mess intro, <laughs> in the YouTube uploads. Uh, thanks, Kim. Uh, we are going to be... <laughs> we have seen your feedback. We agree. We're going to start including all the mess at the beginning of those episodes. You're welcome. You're looking at it right We're now. Looking at it right now. Yeah. Yeah. We are probably still going to be cutting out the breaks and the donations at the end. If you want to see that stuff, make sure you come along and watch live or, you know, catch up. We will do some stuff on Patreon or maybe something like that. But make sure you watch still available. Breaks breaks now. Now. Breaks are always available. Breaks yeah. now are going to be a bit different because yeah. we can't have the same kind of break that we used to. Yeah, exactly. Given that if we get up, it's too noisy us moving yeah, around exactly. for you to. It's, it's, it's we use mess. the kettle a lot. We, we use, the, use the, kettle. the kettle a lot. It's a production space yeah. now. Yeah. We're very so professional now. We're going to cut it out and make it all very slick and easy. Yes. So Los Angeles. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. Uh, but <laughs> before we get <laughs> <laughs> Thomas is going to tell you a little bit about Discord and the Wiki team. Yeah. Hey, what up, gamers? When I look <laughs> deep, into that camera, I'm looking straight at you, uh -huh. into your eyes, into your soul. Oh, and I sorry. see oh, sorry about that. I see someone who loves a sense of community <clears throat> and friendship among a group of people who have similar interests <clears throat> to you. And where else can you find such camaraderie? Where can you, Tom? Where? I couldn't possibly where I'm know. Lost. Help, Mom. <laughs> oh, help! Then you need to take a left turn down into Mommy. Discord Avenue. Uh, where Discord Avenue. Discord Avenue. We're gonna rock down to <laughs> Discord, Discord Avenue. Avenue. Um, there will be a link in the chat to join the Discord, which is almost at, would you believe, 6,000 members. Whoa. Whoa. All Whoa. talking, high rollers, what all people? playing D and D, all having a great ass time. Ass you time. can find amazing places there, like the High Rollers fan art chat, where I'm now looking at some artwork from Peggles. It's about Sentry communicating into the void all of her hopes and dreams because no one has messengering <laughs> anymore. Yeah, right. Also, there's a nice alternative to live stream chat as well. If you hate Twitch, speaking in uh, Twitch chat, go to live stream chat. Oh, good. Great. We still have <laughs> access to awkward Zooms when Yay! I'm talking. Before I was gone, here I am. Um, Production. There's also the incredible High Rollers Wiki as well, which has been a long, arduous journey compiling all of the information about High Rollers, Erois, and all the other campaigns. Go check it out. Maybe you can help out and add some info as well. That would be amazing. Uh, there you go. Discord. Join it now. Bam. You forgot one thing. 
uh, that they've created a brand new <laughs> clips channel in the Discord. I did forget about that. That was the main us. thing. Uh, main that was the main reason I was talking about yep. this. Uh, if you have some favorite clips and moments and memories from High Rollers across all of our campaigns, put it into the clips channel. Maybe do a search first to make sure no one else has put it in there. Someone has already posted the Lucius Carries moment. Don't put that Don't in put there. Don't put the cows in. There's um, a lot of them have been posted. And we're going to oh, be using them. It's not so easy, is it, Tom, being the host and having to talk about things and remember things? I'm just saying <laughs> A spectacular God. job. Thank Except you. you forgot the one thing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. The one oh, reason. Fuck that. Um, it's like getting the dragon mini for the combat encounter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, Discord, but, join it. Thanks. Discord, wiki, join it. Uh, check out the Patreon as well, um, all of that good stuff. And as always, you know, this is a random off the cuff reminder. Don't forget, if you've got that Amazon Prime, you could always just swing it out, way, can you? It's coming, it's doing nothing for you. Why not? Just <laughs> doing it out? nothing. I genuinely <laughs> always forget that I have Sitting around. a Prime Prime. It might have lapsed. Oh, wait, yeah. It might have lapsed. Might genuinely have always. Check, little sub button. Oh, if I give, oh, oh put that in there. Oh, look at all these fancy emo. Oh, so oh, lovely. Oh, oh, lovely. Oh, 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 I love a bit of emo. Thanks, Jeff. Um, <laughs> thank, thanks, Jamie. Amen, Jay. Yeah. Amen, Jay. <laughs> <laughs> My big man, Jay. He's us. <laughs> With a great big oh, okay. amen to the big J man in the sky. <laughs> Jeff Bezos. <laughs> no, the man in the sky. Didn't even go in the sky. We are going to jump in to our introduction <laughs> for High Rollers. Take it away, Sam with the Dun Duns. Dun -dun. And welcome back <laughs> to High Rollers Heroics. Oh no. Last time, our heroes have trapped. Right, okay. This isn't a clean going? intro. What happened? <laughs> Reed just exploded her pen all over the place. It was, I think it just that? with one second to go, the it was popped. the noise she that she. No! <laughs> it was like, it four was seconds to go. I carry on, but I could see that everybody else was going. I couldn't. Pass. I couldn't. It was a reaction that It's got all right, me. this is all going. No. I was just, I was just shouting going. penis every second in the last 10 seconds, and then that happened. <laughs> She's crying. <laughs> Looks like eyeliner yeah, gone for the Look at this guy. Oh my god. Yeah. Mm. Oh. Look at this guy. Such a pro. He's ready Such a to pro. go. Oh, come on. He's oh, he's mad. He's just devoid of emotion. He's just joy. <laughs> but when I start laughing, mm. yeah. good luck That's stopping it. Last time on Arois, our heroes have travelled to the Hawkstorn Archipelago. Oh, fuck! <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> have travelled to the Hawkstorn Archipelago to help subdue some of the environmental disasters there. After speaking to a series of construct aides called the Maidens of Valena, they have set out to stabilise Volcanos. Descending into its caldera, their party fought against a pair of giant malfunctioning constructs, which were dealt with via oscillation, commanding voices, and a crashing sky shift. <laughs> sky skiff. Uh, with a Bala, lot of oscillation, yeah. A lot of oscillation. You alright there, Kim? <laughs> you just went dealt with by oscillation and Kim just went. <laughs> What's wrong with that? That's what happened. <laughs> so unprofessional. <laughs> what were you saying earlier? We're a production I'm company. I'm so sorry, podcast listeners. <laughs> with I'm, Bala, not, I'm not I'm sorry. Just gonna wait. I'm sorry. With Valor creating You'd never a see me do this, <laughs> Honestly, like... Frick. You absolute frick. Like, me and Tom keep it together. Yeah. Right. <clears throat> With Valor creating a barrier shield, the party begins to descend into the magma chamber of the volcano. They endure intense heat, with, even with their magical productions. After a quick rescue of a gemstone construct D1, Quill notices movement in the cavernous shaft. 
and something stirs. Shut <laughs> 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 put that one right at the end. I put it right at the end. You look straight into my eyes when you take cat on a shaft. And something stirs. Uh, <laughs> so uh, What God. a professional stream. I just, oh, I love that everyone was like, we missed the chaos. And we were just like, challenge accepted. You, you get chaos. Welcome, my high rollers. Um, so, we currently have you all. We're going to set the scene once again. You are traveling through a wide, uh, the sort of main shaft or flume, I think it's called, of the volcano itself. I minor flume. Um, you are within a sort of barrier sphere that Vala has conjured and is concentrating on. In fact, you can see a little map of it. Um, there are, you can just about see your vision outside of the dome is quite limited. The dome seems to be kind of holding things back um, and creating a bit more clarity, allowing you to see about 20 feet, 25 feet outside of the dome. Well, you can see that there are various tunnels and walls and things like that, um, but it's quite difficult to see anything else. Quill mm. has seen... <laughs> yeah. You all right? No, I'm good, yeah, carry on. <laughs> Sorry. Can we go back to digital where like, I no. can just click off their faces no. when they're coming? We've spent a lot of money on this studio. <laughs> they're you bringing me down here. Look at <laughs> you know, just Everybody should take a, a, a leaf from Chris Trot's book. Oh, Look fuck off. Composed. He's usually the worst. <laughs> I'll Look at that. myself. <laughs> Did you see that? I swear. He slapped himself in the face. so dumb. I can't believe I did that. <laughs> I just full on chin with yeah. <laughs> I can't, I can't win this today. Oh my god. Get together, oh. everybody. The sun's out. Giggle central. Yeah. Mm. Oh. The weather's nice. Quill hey, spotted. Hey, man. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Thanks, so. J-Man, for the sunshine. Quill spotted. <laughs> so. Quill has seen something move in the sort of outskirts, the very edges of his vision, about 20, 30 feet away from the dome. Um, and then just at the last second before we ended the session, what you saw was a giant moor, a gargantuan moor, erupt from the kind of orange liquid magma that's kind of flowing around you. And it's still kind of got streaks of black and, and movement all amongst the magma. Um, and last week I didn't have a proper miniature, uh, oh. so I was using one temporary. I did yesterday managed to quickly paint up oh, hell yeah oh, 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 oh magma jaw oh, yeah so, so that is Gorgeous. that's actually a purple worm from uh gale force nine and then i painted oh. him up to be <coughs> a magma and this is gozor the great worm oh, uh, what a big big boy very He's big so boy you can, have it, um, I can get you a better color have i have i seen uh, the front and tail of this thing. You have not seen the tail. You, so it's this just... thing is literally loomed. It almost looks like it's tunneled out of the walls um, and has surged forward. So yeah, you haven't seen the entire length of this thing. Oh but you did God. notice that like where one section, one side of the cavern moved, and then a few moments later, the other side of the cavern moved, and you think that was one continuous. Oh God, he's a long, long oh, boy. Ow. What sort of girth are we talking? Uh, I mean, his jaw is big enough that it could easily swallow even Big Sentry. Like, it could engulf Big Sentry and Man. swallow Big Sentry down. Um, okay. It is big. It's a big, big boy. We are talking about a very big boy. The size um, of that lad. And with that, we are going to go straight into... Unless there's anything you want to quickly say or do, but you won't have time to properly react, but this is... Um, I look at it and I initiative. say... Ah! Perfect. As your uh, top tier role play. Top tier role play. <laughs> Love it. Uh, that felt very Taskmaster the way that we had that exchange. Yeah. Like, top tier role play. <laughs> Ooh, I've been watching a lot. Uh, so. I would so. be your little Alex Horn. <laughs> yeah. It's Little Tom Hazel. <laughs> <laughs> Initiative time? Anyone in this group, uh, would definitely it would be definitely you. be me. It would definitely be you. Initiative, please. Oh. Initiative. Woo. Yep. Uh, I have oh, also updated Maximilian's stats. He is no longer completely useless. <laughs> I didn't think he was yes. totally useless. He was pretty bad. He was <laughs> damn. Didn't have a very good attack <laughs> bonus and not many hit points. Okay. Um, he still doesn't have lots of hit points, but he's a bit more useful. Um, you also, as a note, you currently have D1 in the dome we with you as well. D1. Yep. D1. Um, Valor is in the center. She is basically concentrating on keeping the dome up. Uh, for references, this is a spell she's casting. So if she takes damage, 
she has to maintain concentration on it. Right. Okay. Um, is she a war caster? Uh, she, you don't know. Um, okay. Let's find out. Lucius, initiative. I, did we not roll it last time? If no. you did, we're rolling it again. Okay. <laughs> also, I'm just noticing there's a lot of um, bloodied portraits on my D&D &D Beyond encounter. Ooh. I don't know. Uh, I rolled oh, like 17. 17. We're not cute. Quill. Uh, whoa. Six. Six. Cool. Ayla. 24. Standard. Sentry. 23. Three. Nova Vija. 11. 11. Oh, oh my god, these dice. I'm low for once. <laughs> it's because Trot accused me of stealing his dice, and I'm proving to him that I haven't. Yeah, Fair. I was trying to keep it quiet like a professional. <laughs> well, you just chin yourself <laughs> again, mate. Sentry, I just want to <laughs> check if my hit point uh, counter is accurate here, mm -hmm. or if you guys healed up. What hit points are you on? I'm on 78. I took okay. a lot of damage last week. Kim, how many hit I... points are you on? 58. Okay, no, this is correct. <laughs> <laughs> I was just checking. You know the oscillator kept uh -huh. on like oscillating oh, yeah, yeah. and shooting me? Yeah. What about when I gave you like 90 Yeah, but we took healing. damage going down the volcano. Yeah. But then I was constant healing that back up as no, we were going Yeah, but yeah, I was, no, I was no, on no. one when you no. healed me. So I was she on... Was on she was on one. On one. On one <laughs> when I gave you 90. <laughs> yeah. Did you not Holy know that? Shit. No, I didn't know she was on one. <laughs> yeah, I went down. She then went came back on one. Oh, of course. Mm. Yeah, 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 I remember now. Okay. Nice. The shock on Tom's <laughs> face. You were on one? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, yeah, forgot, I forgot you used bad. your paladin yeah. uh, like ability thing, yeah. Yeah, no, we're, um, we're pretty bad. So for, okay. for this combat, just so you guys know, yeah. uh, Valor actually? is literally, her whole turns are basically concentrating on the dome. She can't really sure. help in any way. Max is able to fight, and I've got control of him. D1 doesn't appear to have any offensive abilities, very much like the Crashing Sky, uh, sky sh Skiff. D1 is just <laughs> stood there. Smiling, okay. no reaction to the situation whatsoever. Yeah. Um, the creature is about 10 feet outside of the dome. So it's kind of like looming about 10 feet. Oh, it's not charging. Uh, it has charged, but it looks right. like it can like kind of rush forward and it's got reach. So it's, it's within right. combat threat range of itself, but it's oh, still God. a little bit away from the dome. Um, the, at the start of your turns, you will be taking five damage, just like you did on the way uh, down. Okay. So it's going to be five fire damage. That's already halved uh, from ten. Um, so whenever you take your and turn, we've already established like things that would create resistance as a spell is negated by the fact that we have the fire quaffed. Yeah, those of you who have drunk the fire potion, yeah, you can't double up resistance. Mm -hmm. Like, so I couldn't absorb them. elements, for example, which just grants me fire resistance. No, it would just grant you the same resistance you already have. Um, fire resistance is still going to help, but yeah, it's uh, definitely a thing. What's the damage? Um, uh, well, that's at the start of your turn, so don't worry about it yet. When it comes to your turn, we'll just I'm just kind of reminding you guys now. The other thing mm -hmm. I'm going to mention is if you the lava, because we're in basically you are surrounded by lava at this point. You are in a tunnel of lava. Lava at this depth in the magma chamber, and because this is D and D and it's a bit more magical, it is more of a liquid. Like you can move through it. Um, it is going to be hard. It slows your movement speed. It's half your movement speed to move through magma, and it's sort of like swimming, but swimming speed doesn't massively help. It will help you in combat, but it won't make it so you can swim through it faster. This is more like literally like sludging your way through okay. thick, viscous, burny mm. liquid, which I know isn't teams. what lava is. But D and D lava scientists get off my back. Um, hey, we basically have treasure planet for our space, so yeah, basically. Also, um, you can travel through trees no matter where they are. So exactly, like, it's how madness. crazy, <laughs> madness, bullshit. We're gonna start with uh, initiative order is gonna be going Ayla, Sentry, then Lucius. Right. So Ayla, you are first up. Hello. Uh, well, I will rage as my bonus action. I've taken my five points. Um, and. I guess, since I can't reach it within this buble. You, not within the bubble, no. You would have to will. exit the bubble. Uh, the bubble as well is what is preventing you from taking the much more higher lava damage, which you would take if you were to become in contact with it or submerged in it. Could I have asked Valor mm -hmm. prior to this battle Yep. Whether we can shoot spells out of it. Yeah, and, and she would have told you as well, you can shoot spells out of the bubble. Thing, If there is a physical or a spell, can also pass into it. Just an environment. It, she's literally keeping the environment at gotcha. bay here. Uh, right, But okay. things like it and spells could pass It can through. come in. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um... So it's got 10 feet away at the it's moment. It's about 10 feet away, yes. 
the scale of the map is slightly off. I made the squares too small, but it is 10 feet away. <laughs> okay. Uh, I guess I will scoot out and I'll just say to Quill, keep toughing me up, bud. Okie dokie. And uh, okay. I will you swim out into the lava. <laughs> I mean, I don't see another way around it for no. now. Um, I want to get a couple of hits on it, so okay. I will swim out. When and you hit exit it. the bubble, yeah. Uh, because also I realised last week I was doing lava damage wrong. I was doing oh. it too weak. Oh, oh. okay. Oh. <laughs> You're gonna take. 11, well, that 19, changes my decisions probably for future. 19, 30, 31 fire right. damage, halved because you have resistance, so 15 fire damage. See, this changes my mind on what I should do. But you're already in contact with that. You can't take that damage again until you start your next turn. So Made the most of it. Okay, so I will. Um, <laughs> the thing just like uh, roars in your face I as you swim out to it. A dragon noise in person. <laughs> well, that felt was, it. That wasn't, <laughs> wasn't a dragon. That wasn't a dragon. It wasn't a metal dragon. Oh, that was no. a great worm noise. That was a great worm. worm. Uh, Twenty-two to hit. Twenty-two will indeed just hit this thing. The hammer slams into its like obsidian plating. You can see this thing, like its outer hide is made of like obsidian, like volcanic rock, and then it has this intense glowing sort of like lava body underneath it, which is kind of pulsing heat from it. Twenty-one damage on the hammer and four lightning. Twenty-one points of damage, and then four points of lightning. Yeah, which is. Uh, I rolled a nat one on my second attack. Uh, it's going to so... miss no matter what. 16. So, the second attack slams into it, um, finding no purchase. Dex save, please. A dex saving throw for... Oh, actually. Uh, that is only going to be a 13, however. 19 lightning damage. 19 more points of lightning damage. And I will scoot back into the bulb lift. Yep, yeah, sure. Let's swim back in. Get back in there. Not a big bubble, but we are taking up pretty much every space yeah. in yes, that bubble, there is aren't we? not a lot of lava. space. There is a lot of you, and the space is quite limited, and this is the maximum that um, Valor can make it. Uh, end of your turn, Ayla? Yes, please. At the end of your turn, I'm going to use a legendary action oh. from the Great One. It's got legendary um, mm -hmm. It opens its mouth, and it seems to almost like regurgitate something. Oh. And it spits out this kind of blob of molten black rock with lava kind of flowing through it as a magma uh. elemental. Oh, oh what? Oh. oh, a creature? Uh, Pokeball? Uh, yeah, it's like, it, I've used an ooze, but it is basically like a, uh, a, an amorphous, sentient lump of molten magma rock. Uh, igneous run, it kind of <laughs> and it kind of tries to swipe. Its oh, I way. thought it was just like spitting a projectile at us. That thing's uh, it's uh, moving. It doesn't take its turn. It's just summoned it, but it it's is now speaking to us on the back. Is that accurate to its size? Uh, yeah, it's a large okay. creature. Right. Um, yeah, it's big. Yeah, big. Uh, and you can see like there's an intense heat flowing off of it. Like again, this is made of like lava rock. So that's at the end of Ayla's turn. We go to Sentry. Okie dokie, I'm going to uh, bonus action call forth Starbreaker. So you lift up the, the, the lance, do it for us. Starbreaker! <laughs> she watches the lance grows in size, the big spiraling green energy begins to kind of form around it. Nice, and I'm going to make two attacks against the worm, please. So to, oh. what's the, oh yeah, because do you have reach? Ten on foot reach. Ten foot reach, so oh, you'd have to nice. move to the very edge. Yeah. Uh, so you'd basically kind of push past Lucius uh, to the very edge of the bubble. Worm. And then just reaching out through the bubble, striking with Starbreaker. That's right, and it's enlarged form. It has uh, increased reach. Uh, 24. Does that hit first? Does hit, yeah. The lance kind of pierces through a chunk of the obsidian plate. Nice. Alrighty, I shall do. Let me get my chart up. Let's do a level 3 divine smite on that boy. Okay. Four. Three. Four. <laughs> this Five. is why before the stream she was going, let me just line up all of my D8s. <laughs> well, oops, oh, no, that's gone. That's all right. I got, I got spares. Come on. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, yeah. 10, 18, uh, 26, 36, 39, 45, plus 7. <coughs> 52 for the first one. 52 points of damage. Nice. Uh, some of that's radiant damage, right? Yes. Okay. So yeah, Starbreaker collides and you hear this crack as rock of this thing's armor carapace is split. These great 
you know, gouts and cracks erupt over its arm, and lava begins kind of almost pulling out of them to join the lava surrounding it. Nice. Ooh. I shall do it again, please. Okay. Oh, uh, max 27, I think that one is. That will hit. Nice. Same again, level three. Nice. It's easier if I just use both hands. Why am I using both hands? No. <laughs> oh. Whoa. Okay, 11, 13, 15, 19, 24, 32, 40, 47 for the second one. 47 points of damage. So between these two strikes, these great cracks form down the sides of Golzor, and you can see they kind of splinter and break apart, pieces of its armored carriage kind of almost falling off and, and you know, breaking away amongst the lava, and it whips its giant maw directly around to face entry. Oh, okay. boy. Uh, oh, she nice. made him end angry. Turn. Yeah, in turn, I'm just going to adopt a protective stance and just stay at the front protecting everybody. <clears throat> well, you don't have to worry about protecting anybody else because at the end of your turn, it's going to make a tail attack against you. Let's go. Uh, that is going to be 18. That's going to be 31. Yeah, that hits. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> Maybe. Uh, that is going to be... Uh, let's see, 17. 17 plus 9 is... 26. 26. 26 points of bludgeoning damage, and can you make a strength saving throw, please? Yeah. So from actually, the tail would come from another section of the walls around you. Mm. It kind of like bursts forward and slaps into sentry, um, kind of erupting from the side of the cavern itself, not from the cool. creature's base. Awful, but cool. 20. 20 is not enough. Oh. Sentry is knocked 10 feet in a direction of its choice. Oh! oh. oh. Pulls you out. What? Oh, no. It. Oh. Uh, yeah, kind of in between it and the magma elemental. As soon as you touch the lava sentry, you're going to be taking. Uh, oh, joy. 38 halved would be 19 <coughs> fire damage. 19, cool. And that's on top of the five as well. Uh, yes, and you took five at the start of your turn. Yeah, that's true. Um, so yeah, it kind of slams its tail into you from the side of the wall, and it kind of pulls you back out into the lava. Um, and that is the end of your turn, Lucius. I'm going to quicken a spell, uh -huh. which is going to be um, a chromatic orb at Big Boy. Mm -hmm. uh, but first, I'm going to just do a little frostbite cantrip on okay. little uh, magma boy. Okay, sure. Uh, lumpy boy. So it's a con save of 19. Con save of 19 against these guys. Uh, yeah, it's okay to just fail it. Yeah, that does. Yeah, five. <laughs> uh, and that would be a solid 20 points 20. of cold. 20 points of cold damage. I'm putting out the feelers. Uh, if you're looking for vulnerability, sadly, because they are partially rock as well as flame, like cold definitely affects them. Like you can see it kind of stills it, almost seems to turn its movement sluggish and slow it down. Damages it, but yeah, doesn't uh, doesn't seem to be more vulnerable to it. All right, so I'm gonna do a level three chromatic orb of cold okay. against the worm. All right. Does it look particularly vulnerable to that? You'll find out when you hit. If you hit. I got a 27. 27 will hit. All right. So that's... Oh, wait, I did that first level, so... Remember 13. 13. Thank we're remembering you. 13. Thank you very much. Today in High Rollers, we're remembering 13. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Plus 15. 28. 28 points of cold damage. Of cold damage. The ice sphere flies out of the bubble and it impacts the sections where Sentry Starbreaker had kind of ruptured some of its armor. The worm sort of writhes and wriggles around. It doesn't seem to be any more affected than mm. cold. Similar to, the, similar to the Magma Elemental, the rock is definitely sort of like taking some of the cold. It does slow it. You can see its movements turn a little bit sluggish, um, but does not seem to be causing any more damage. I sling eight more points of dichromancy cold at the magma rock. At the magma elemental. Yeah, just eight trying to whittle points. that away. Yeah, and that one does seem to, with that section of cold, it almost seems diminished, almost like halved in size um, as that cold uh, impacts against it. Um, I think if anyone has a spare hand or two, we should deal with the, the extras first. 
Keep them under control. Uh, End of turn? End of turn. No, no. Just, just don't do it. No, I won't. Not yet. Uh, the magma elemental, uh, Ayla, is basically it just flows over you and in fact it's going to basically go over you, Quill and Max. Oh. It's coming in. It's eating Max. It's no! Max, Ayla and you, Quill. I'm dead. That's the best <laughs> I can do. Yeah. Um, Oobly. A miniature is going to have its head taken off. Yeah. <laughs> it is. Uh, so when this thing squeezes into your space, you immediately take some fire damage. No saving throw or anything. Uh, that's going to be 19, so half that to 9 um, for all three of you. Oy. I'll do it for Max. Um, really whittling down house quick, isn't it? Uh, yes. Uh, you are now basically engulfed, so it's going to stop kind of like surrounding you guys. Um, basically, as long as you're engulfed at the start of your turn, it's going to do more fire damage to oh. you as well. Um, and you basically have to use half your movement to free yourself from this, you know, it's thick igneous lava rock. Like you actually physically have to pull yourself free from it. Okay. Um, that's just its movement. It's then going to make two slam attacks one against Ayla, one against Quill. Uh, 24 to hit you, Ayla. Yep. And then that's going to be a 22 to hit you, Quill. Yepparoo. Yepparinos. Um, and this thing does seem to, yeah, definitely hits quite hard. Oh. When it does. <laughs> this is the great worm. This is the magma. This Gulzor. Is the magma Gulzor. Oh, but, it, I, but the DM rolls really badly, so it doesn't The poop of Gulzor. Uh, so that's the gonna poop be of Gulzor. Eight bludgeoning damage. So half to four. Half to you for four to you, normal to you. Oh, for both. And then, okay. yeah. Uh, and then it's another three points of fire damage, so one point of fire damage. That was a really bad roll. Yeah, he hits. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> so bad. Mark almost goals all up a, another magma <laughs> elemental. Oh, another <laughs> magma <laughs> elemental appears. Um, that's its go. Uh, Max is going to, uh, he is going to pull himself free. He's going to spend half of his movement to get himself free. Um, he's going to take some damage at the start of his turn as well, which I'll need to worry about in a minute. Ugh. Oh, so it's basically a grapple. It's kind of a grapple. You basically spend half your movement to break okay. free. It's not like an action or anything like that. Okay. It's just kind of it's slowing your movement to kind of get away. Um, so Max is going to, yeah, he is going to pull himself free for half of his movement. Um, then he is going to make one great sword attack against the Magma Elemental uh, for a 24 to hit. He hit. Dealing nine points of damage to the Magma Elemental. Uh, and then he's going to cast a spell uh, as his other, rather than making a second attack, he's going to put a hand on Valor and he casts Warding Bond on Valor, which gives her an extra oh. AC and also any damage. She has resistance to all damage now. Nice. But Max cool. takes whatever damage she takes. Oh, yeah. yeah. Um, cool. And then finally, he's going to say, Friends, you need to take care of this. I will try and protect Valor. And he's going to use his Royal Guard ability. Um, basically, as a bonus action, he is going to, you can linger on that. Uh, as a bonus action, Max can designate a creature as his ward until the start of his next turn. That ward basically gets the benefits of half cover, which is plus two AC and deck saving throws. And Max can use his reaction to basically always make himself the target of an yeah. attack directed at his cool. ward. So he can basically jump cool. in and take damage. Um, and that's it. That's going to be his whole turn. But that means he can't attack next turn if he uses royal, uh, mm. if he guards right. somebody. Um, we then go to Nova Vija. Um, I would like five to points of damage. It's not your turn, please. Manifest Tiangong. Why do I think I did that? Please do that. Um, will Tiangong take damage if he manif they manifest? Um, if you manifest them this turn, no. At the start of next turn, they yeah. technically will. Yes. That's But you can manifest them now. Yeah. And they'll take right? they'll take um, uh, as bonus, and they'll take damage if they go outside the bubble. Bubble. Inside the dome, it's at the start of the turn, so I'd say for you it'd be fine. Mm. If you manifest the, the, the you you know that the manifestation of Tiangong, if you try and summon it outside the dome, it will instantly die. Because as soon as it comes into contact with lava, it's diminished, it's destroyed. I'd just like to say that I had this idea that I would manifest Tiangong inside the magma worm and then teleport, switch with it, and then oh. carve up the magma worm from the Oh, if you would like to try and do that, you absolutely can. But I think Tiangong will die as soon as they step, because they step outside the bubble, right? You're also well, if you, but are you time. summoning it inside, inside the, the worm's worm. stomach? That's not in touching lava. But that's a bonus action, and then to swap teleport is another bonus action. So by the, to last a turn. by the time, but 
if Tiangong takes one point of damage, yeah. then that's just that. that sucks. All. You could try. Yeah. I have mini. Ready to go. I quite want to do it. Okay. I mean, I don't need to. <laughs> it might be a waste of time, but like, yeah. Experiment a little. Yeah. I'm, I'm gonna. I'm gonna. In my mind, Nova just flashes this whole pl plan past Tiangong, as if expecting them to be like. No, don't do that. But of course, Tiangong is just like neutral, like. Well, also, Tiangong is like I have I have no information about the contents of this yeah. worm. Yeah. I, I do the not know the, the I do not know the condition of <laughs> the, the, the worm's interior. It's probably going to be quite acidic and hot, mm. but we'll figure it out. That is likely. Well, they're going to take one damage by the time it's the next turn, isn't it? Got to decide. It's going to be a waste of time. Turn. Go. Or I could just do loads of damage. If that works. <laughs> Go, Kim. Oh, rule cool. I'm going to try and teleport yes, right. inside. All right. So yes. you summon... In fact, can you... I just Misty Step inside it? Or Dimension Door inside you could, it? I, you would have to... So Tiangong, because you can create it in a space, I would say Dimension Door and Misty Step, you have to see where you're going. You could te you could go inside its mouth and hope that it just swallows you. <laughs> That'd be quite funny. Oh, what if I teleport... Uh, if I have Tiangong in the bubble, yeah. and then I tell... No, because they're going to take damage as soon as it's the next turn, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, because I was like, what if I then go into the mouth and then teleport out? This is now the limit of your intelligence thinking in the six yeah, seconds it no, takes for the round. Yeah, no, beautiful so. minding it. Yeah. Do you know what? I'm going to try. I'm going to see. Let's teleport. Let's uh, manifest Tiangong yes. in, okay. in the stomach of the yes. beastie. So, yeah, you feel the sensation. None of, you don't see a physical change. Uh, you just see, like, its gullet kind of shift and for a second, and then it... Nothing happens. You can just hear Tiangong going like, "No, oh, what the fuck? <laughs> Why? This sucks. This sucks." Uh, what you you have to do a thing to actually see through its like sight. Like you don't. You, it doesn't have like an immediate like knowledge of its surroundings, do you? You have to use like a special. No, thing just the that. screaming. Just the well, there's no screaming. Yeah. Tiangong doesn't scream. Doesn't feel um, pain. So yeah, bonus action is manifest, Good. so I can't teleport until my next turn. But I can attack in the meantime. So while I'm just waiting for my next turn, I'm just gonna attack. Interesting. Okay, go. Yeah. Uh, can I reach the magma worm from here, or? Uh, it's ten feet away from the bubble, bubble, so not with a sword attack. No. Okay, I'm gonna go for the magma goop. Yeah, yeah. You I mean that's within the bubble currently? Thirty to hit. That will hit. Yes, it will hits will the magma hit? elemental. So um, that's AC of thirteen. Uh, oh, I rolled an eight. Uh, what's nine plus eight? Seventeen. Eighteen points of damage. Eighteen points of damage. So as you swing Tiangong the sword, you cleave through it, magical arc, kind of cutting through the magma elemental, and it splits apart. It stops engulfing uh, Quill and Ayla. Um, the only problem is, as this thing is reduced to zero hit points, I need it explodes. Ugh. Pretty much everybody in the bubble to make a dexterity saving throw. Damn it! Okay. Anyone in ten feet? Uh, Everyone, right? Uh, no, actually. No, actually. Sentry's 10 feet away from the bubble. Okay. Nobody is within 10 feet. Oh. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Dex save. Dex Eight. saving throw. Mm, wow. Eight. 12. Uh, 18. 18. Quill succeeds. Oh, wonderful. 17. Uh, Ayla succeeds. Oh. Valor succeeds. Maximilian succeeds. Those of you who succeed are going to take half damage. Those of you who uh, failed are what taking kind of full damage. Yeah. This is going to be a mixture of bludgeoning and fire damage. So you're okay. You're taking uh -oh. half from all this. I'm going to take half exploding, of half. It's just exploding, right? This thing basically explodes in rock and flames. Oh, wow, bubble. okay. Sozzle pops. So that's going to be so gonna 15 happen. bludgeoning plus My half uh, two. two fire. So 17. Seven, um, so one fire damage, but then 15 bludgeoning for everyone else. Um, uh, Wait, don't you get it? I'm outside the bubble. She's I'm outside chilling. the bubble. She's going to burn. Magma. <laughs> she's she's yeah. going to burn to death. I'm fine. <laughs> <laughs> this is good. Uh, Vala has to make a concentration check. Oh, DC shit. 10. She starts oh, damage. Uh, Succeeds. Good. Um, <laughs> so I was trying to remember oh, what my portents yeah. are. Uh, in fact, actually, yeah, Valor takes even less damage because yeah. she's currently got resistance. Um, and that is that. Does that mean uh, Max takes that damage as well? Again? Uh, yes. It Welcome. Does. I'm Thank back, you. baby. <laughs> uh, <laughs> baby. Rules boss is back. taking half, so that's going to be uh, seven, uh, eight points of damage. Yeah, we took eight, right? What? Um, we took eight as well. Yeah. 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 Cool. Um, that was Nova. Well, you can still attack. That was Wait, actually, your first I would attack. have taken less than that. Sorry. Would you? Yeah, because you it was eight half of it, so I can add actually four actually. hit points. 
Oh, you so I'm very quarter your um, bludgeoning, don't you? Yeah, if I save against it, yeah. So yeah. I'll take those four. I have 30 foot of movement. Can I move? No, I don't, because I manifested, so that's 15. I can't. I don't think I can move close enough to the worm to attack. With well, you army. wouldn't have had reach with Xiangong anyway, so you got five foot reach. You could blaze. Unless you go into the lava. Yeah. Mm. Well, I've only got 15 foot of movement as well, so... Well, that's, you could get to the edge of the bubble, but yeah. you won't be able to attack. Uh, yeah. Yeah. No, I will say, Quill, if you could heal me before the next uh, the next time I, I go for it, um, that would be great. Uh, okay. Just think about it. Just I'm, think about I'm it. I'm thinking a lot Just about it. Just think about it, yeah. I mean, look at Sentry out there. Okay. End of turn? Yeah, I can't do it anymore. <laughs> the worm is going to use its last legendary action to make a tail attack against you. Oh, cute. Oh, cool. Oh, last legendary. Yes, it's used two already. That's good to know. Uh, tail attack, that's going to be a 26 to hit you, Nova Vija. Hmm, yes. Is this when we all die in a volcano? Yes. Yeah. Nine, yeah. 18 points of bludgeoning damage, and can you make a strength saving throw, please? Oh, I'm really good at those. I'm not that far away. With my minus two. <laughs> Sentry's pretty bad. That's uh, <laughs> yeah, three. Bad. You are pushed 10 feet out of the bubble. Yeah. You immediately take 60, 10 oh, fire damage. Uh, okay. That's going to be 13. How's Lucius? 20. Uh, better than Nova, <laughs> but still pretty bad. Thirty-two halved is sixteen. Five points. Points of fire damage as you are yeah. thrown out into the lava. <laughs> you feel your like body burning. Tiangong desperately trying to protect you, um, surrounded by yourself. <laughs> oh, I just saw what hit points you. Were <laughs> <laughs> I, I love that about D and D Beyond, where like I get updates of hit points and like I'm like, oh, it's bad. <laughs> it's bad. Um, you on two? Quill. Okay. Um, <laughs> hey, oh, you know God. how you always wanted to be like an MMO healer and like, kind of like man, Ken <laughs> never healed anybody. Um, like, I'm gonna be the best healer ever. Oh, Now's the chance, buddy. <laughs> Pop those yeah. cooldowns. Yeah, I'm gonna have to. Um, do I still have my bonus action um, uh, passive heal thing? Or was that just for the duration oh, of us no. descending? Oh. Uh, you have, uh, yeah, I think you've still got that active. No, because it was at the end of a minute, so that has yeah. gone. Okay. Yes. Wow, great timing, Magma yeah, Jaw. Yeah, it waited. It knew. Uh, and the no. worm was like, <laughs> his spells just run out. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, um, I'm going to have to do a mass cure wounds. I kind of wanted another turn, guys, to put up my beacon of hope, <laughs> guys. Sorry, they died too soon. Yeah. Uh, I'll but... just hold out for another turn. It's fine with my two hit points. I, I simply can't. However, my fifth level spell slots are gone, as well as my sixth and my seventh and my eighth. Oh, my God. So I'm going to cast uh, Mask you spent, Wounds. You spent quite a lot of uh, spell slots in that opening fight with the constant. We did, yeah. We all did, I think, mm. yeah. Mm, yeah. So I'm going to have to cast Mask Cure Wounds at ninth level, which is... <laughs> Holy oh crap. I mean, that's pretty big. <laughs> Five, six, seven. I think we need it though. Seven D eight. Seven D eight plus six. Uh, and I'm not going to roll uh, physical dice for that because that will take an hour. <laughs> seven D eight. Bam. Bam. Spell. Slots. Uh, this is with a plus six as well. I roll. Oh, that's. It's not, not great. Oh, no. <laughs> what is it? 27 <laughs> plus 6, so 33. 33. Okay. Uh, who's that going to, Quill? Everybody. Is it everybody? <laughs> How many creatures? It's um, <laughs> six creatures within 30 feet, and I don't have to see them either, so okay. it's going to be... I'm not going to do... There's more than six people here, which yeah. is why I'm asking. I'm so. not going to do myself. Thanks, Mala. Okay. Then you um, get everyone, right? So oh, why if, not yourself? If not, I've got quite a lot of HP, so I'm okay. Okay. But I mean, compared to everyone else. Um, so no me. Why are we smiling like that? I saw that. <laughs> There's, oh, is there yourself. seven of us, you including me? Uh, so you've yeah. Well, I mean, just who's so Ayla? Ayla. Sentry. Sentry definitely. Nova, Nova definitely. definitely. Lucius. Sure. Max. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then yourself. Yourself. <laughs> D1. No, not no. D1. <laughs> yeah, I'll Yourself. do myself. Yeah. All right, so 33. The reason I say sure to Lucius is because I, I know I mega healed you last time. He's oh, still yeah. not yeah. got that I'm many totally points. totally fine from there. Really? Since then and now, yes, yeah. it's been absolutely fine. Yeah. Well, you get 33 healing. Oh, no, you also had garbage healing from when yeah. we were descendants. Yeah, yeah. 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 Like, remember how we were mocking like rolling fours. And, and did you take <laughs> your point at the start of your turn? I did not. I'll do that now. 
And he's dead. <laughs> he's dead. I'm dead. He died before he could heal. <laughs> <laughs> I've got loads of hit points left, guys. <laughs> it turns out I do have a They chip level, away really quickly, that's the thing. Yeah. Quill? Yes, that's the fight. Is This is very much a case of, like, you're kind of on a time limit of how much can you heal yeah. before this thing does bad damage. It's very cool. How much damage can you do and how much can you heal? beyond. Tom, are you done? Uh, I'm going to use a bonus action to oh. harness divine power uh, to recover a level three spell slot. Okay. For free. Feel the power, the divine power of the The titans. power of Hesper. Yep. That's kind of Siaskin. <laughs> yeah. Uh, flows back into you. All right. It is Gozor. The Great World! Gozor, the Burninator. <laughs> now... My there's, some big there's, there's some big choices big to choices. be made here. Uh, what you thinking, uh, girl? <laughs> hey, girl. <laughs> hey, girl. Hey. <laughs> if he doesn't use this now, I'm worried he's not going to get a chance to use it. What? Oh, it's something gross. Do it. Worried? <laughs> Do it. <laughs> Blew it. Um, <laughs> he is going to now. I've got a couple of tasty, tasty targets because look at that Lucius right at the front of the dome. Mm. Oh, I just remembered something else I wanted to do as well. Don't he worry. is going to, Goals or the Great One, tr- like his kind of extends outwards and he's going to try and bite Lucius. No! Can I? Oh, I'm not in five feet. Uh, no. Wait, wait. No, uh, do I? No, hang on. Does he? How? Does he look like he's going to do multiple attacks this time? Yes. <laughs> yeah. His tail is bursting out of the walls. In fact, multiple tails. Oh, he's oh. one. Anything? What? Okay. Two mm, tails many. burst out of the walls okay. to attack. Ooh. We need to cut off one tail. Are you doing anything, Thomas? Rest will die. No. Reaction? No. All right. That is going to be a 31 to hit Lucius. Yep. Yeah. Uh, I'm just going to do the average damage here. That's 22 piercing damage. And can you make a dexterity saving throw, please? 17. Lucius is swallowed. Oh, how did great. Oh. How does this keep hey, happening? Every time. <laughs> <laughs> how are you doing? There is warm in here. It's always Lucius. It is, every time. Do I see Tian Gong? You are blinded and restrained. So it golfs. It, you you just watch as this giant maw Lucius. Oh. <laughs> and then it pulls its like head back out of the dome, kind of pulling its body away. Okay. And you feel yourself like muscles contract around you. You feel yourself pinned in place. It's pitch black and you feel intense hot burning all around you as you are swallowed. Um, uh, yep, you have total cover against attacks and other effects outside the worm. Yeah, nice. <laughs> so you can't That's be nice. hurt by the lava. You think that inside is made of lava, though. Um, and yeah, you are swallowed. Uh, then it's going to make two tail attacks, one against um, okay. Ayla and one against Quill. Okay. Actually, no, Max. Max looks more like he's got like a big physical presence. I think it would make it. Mm. Against I'm surprised it wasn't going for the people outside the dome. Uh, oh, that's a great point. I forgot about that. Um, yeah. Legit, you forgot about that? Yeah, I forgot no, about that. No, hit Ayla, hit Ayla. Uh, I'm going to hit Ayla, because uh, I rolled that one already. That's going to be a 32. <laughs> okay, yeah, hang yeah. on. <laughs> that's going to be 16 bludgeoning, half to eight. Yep. Can you make a strength saving throw? How do you forget about them? Because I'm looking, because like in my view, I'm looking at the map, Tom, mm. and my eye is drawn to the bubble with lots of things in it. Oh. And so I was just like, oh yeah, Nova and Sentry are outside. <laughs> 31. 31. The you feel this thing try and knock you out, but you manage to like, whatever hold you have, you kind of hold it off. My plus 13 the strength save. Yeah, you you manage to avoid this thing entirely. 18. And then Sentry. Oh. Wait, I will portent that one. Yeah? Uh, rolls a one. Oh, Ooh. man. That five I just rolled, really. Son of a bitch! Better <laughs> <laughs> so not know. Oh, Better not know. Bonus, though, so oh. yeah, I know. I wanted to say. <laughs> could have been. That is not how it works. Five would have been 21 to hit. I would have hit just. I would have hit. Okay. So you did stop you a saved hit. the life. So you see it kind of slash at Sentry and use your prophetic vision. You call out Sentry. Prophetic? Manage to prophetic just prophetic. <laughs> I'm going to make that joke every time. <laughs> you swing your shield at Sentry and just manage to rebuff the tail. I swallowed. Nice. It's fine. Um. I was going to say some of my really. Oh my you really, really shouldn't have, yeah. No. You don't need to, no. <laughs> yeah. It's Ayla. Hello. Oh, it's up. my uh, turn. I should also point out all of its legendary actions recharge. Yay! Okay. Oh. okay. Why is he still so far away? It's really irritating. Yeah. Uh, I will. He's 10 feet, right? Yeah. 
I don't really want to take 6d10 fire damage, so I will use charge and throw the hammer out. Flies out of the dome. Plus. Yeah. Uh, 18 plus 15. That will hit. Um, flies through the air, transforms to lightning bolt, smash, smashes into the side of this thing's uh, torso. 18 on the hammer plus four lightning, and then an additional... Nineteen lightning 19 damage. Nineteen more points of lightning damage. The hammer flies through, and you see its great obsidian um, a, a volcanic rock carapace at the kind of around of its torso, its underbelly, properly cracks and now exposes more fleshy material. And Lucius's face. Uh, it does not. <laughs> Push up against. Oh, God. Um, but yeah. Uh, yeah, that's that's me. Because you're not in range. Because I'm not aura. in range, so I'm. Uh, yeah. You're done. My hammer has been thrown. At the end of your turn, Ayla, and this is going to really annoy Rhiannon. Oh, no. uh, this thing is going to use its legendary action reposition. It moves up to its speed without provoking opportunity attacks. Uh... All creatures within ten feet of it take twenty fire damage. It no takes 10 fire damage as it leaves behind like a jet of uh... superheated lava. Oh no! Wait, I healed you. Okay. Yeah, you healed me again. Oh. Perfect. And then it goes to Sentry's go. Um, at the start of your turn, Sentry, you are in lava. Yep. Oh, I forgot to take my five at the take start of my turn. Take your five, please. Thank you. Well remembered. That's oh, tiny. That's 39. 39. <laughs> Jesus. So what's that? Half. 19. 19. Fire damage. Four. <laughs> I hope you get level nines, bud. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. <laughs> I think I'm going to take the opportunity while it's gone to go back in the bubble and yes. do so a Yes, so you're at half speed. Okay. So you basically just get within inside the bubble. Get back in bubble. Get yeah. back in safety. Yeah. I'm going to do a big lay on hands on myself. Okay. Yeah. Um, I'm going to do. I'm going to spend all of them, all eighty. Yes. Um, Good fucking in the plan. Face. Yeah. <laughs> what are you thinking? Just like, <laughs> what are you thinking? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Do a chin yourself. Yeah. yeah, chin yourself. So my action, 80 healing for myself. 80, I can't believe so how So I'm back to 112. Nice. Yep. And then any bonus actions? I think I'm going to bonus action. She's over 100. What have I got for bonus? No, I don't think. I'm going to regain a level three spell slot as a bonus okay. action. Don't worry about it. I mean, I do worry about it. I do. Don't worry about it. <laughs> and that'll be my turn. Smart. Right, at the end of Century's turn. <laughs> No! You're going to take Back. another magma elemental. Fuck. Lucius high fives it along. Yeah, does it go past, past me? Yeah. Uh, you do feel something, like, <laughs> but maybe like <laughs> another gullet or something like next to you. Double gullet. Oh, he's got two gullets. It's two gullets. Ooh, two tails. Um, Jimmy, two gullets. That's at the end of Century's turn. Tien Lucius, the at the start of your turn, I'm afraid, oh. yeah, yeah, yeah. as you are swallowed, uh, this is going to be. Uh, it's basically the same as the lava. I think it's 60 10, yeah. Oh. Actually, no. You know what? It's actually 66. I didn't update it. So it's actually worse. It's not as bad as being in the lava. It's bad in here. No. It's, it's bad, but slightly it's not cooler. slightly cooler. Uh, so that's going to be 10, 18, 20, 22. Uh, that should be, yeah, fire damage, so 11. Um, but you are restrained and blinded. So keep in mind, any spells that require you to see a target or anything like that, you cannot use. But feel free to like pitch me an idea if you've got something bizarre. My plan yes. was to erupt um, a cone of cold Ooh. from within. Yeah. That should just work like, because that doesn't that's just a cone, right? You don't need to see your, what you're doing. It's a con just... save of nineteen. I'm gonna do it at eight oh, I can't do it at eighth level. Ninth level. Oh my god. Okay. Ninth level cone of cold? Con save. Con save. It's got quite high con save, 26. Yeah, that, that succeeds, so it will be half. Tom? I I mean, I yeah, I, I have... Because you, you don't know when I'm going to roll, right? Like That was that was the thing. I was going to... I was thinking about using portent. I have an 11 portent. Do you want to use it? I mean, I may as well. That turns it to a 25. Oh. <laughs> it's plus 14. So it's half damage, so it's still going to take half. Okay, yeah, I'm just going to figure out the ones and twos. Uh, also, he could have used legendary resistance anyway. Mm. Yeah, so. Yeah. 
But he doesn't just expect it from outside. Leisure resistance doesn't say must anticipate the attack. <laughs> 40 to 20. Is that heart? So 42 heart then down to 20. So it does do the damage, but that is not enough. You can, if you cause enough damage, you can cause him to throw you up. Oh. A bit. Dicromancy on that. How much? So that's nine plus five, so 14. So another 14, so it goes to 34. Not quite enough, not enough. And that technically is two separate attacks anyway. But yeah, you feel like you blast around you, kind of like opening your hands, coating the inside around you with ice. And for a moment, there's this brief respite, right? Of being trapped in this space and you, you kind of feel the heat die down and you think, <gasps> And then the ice just melts and it turns to steam and then the lava just flows again and you're like pressed up against it, trapped the with panic it. is setting in now. Yeah. This is pretty like it's completely dark. The claustrophobia. You're, like, you're literally you got you can yeah. just about move your hands and that's about it. If someone else does damage to it, could it throw up Lucius? No. It has to be it has inside. To be Lucius. Uh. It has to be inside it. Oh. So Tiangong might be able to. Um, or somebody else who goes inside. There's no way Tiangong is still going to use my <laughs> bonus action to do some sorcery points and gain a spell slot back. That sounds great. Um, Maximilian is going to look around. Uh, Nova, you look pretty injured, right? And so, and Luke, you can't see Lucius. Um, Max is going to say, I need to protect Valor in case that thing charges us again, but I can at least help a little. And he's going to reach out and he's going to use his. Uh, healing flame. <gasps> what? Uh, uh, which flame? Is like a, it's like a low, it's not as good lay on hands, but he can do it a little bit at range. He's going to give you 20 hit points. Ooh, still oh. 20. Um, and then he's going to resume his royal guard bonus action. That's yeah, pretty flame much his turn. Flame. Heal flame blade. Heal flame blade. Heal flame. Um, Nova Vija. At the start of your turn, oh. I'm sad to tell you, Tiangong takes 66 points of damage, which means it immediately dies. <laughs> like the manifestation yeah. just. <laughs> Um, and you feel it's it disconnect. It's just like yeah, it's too too hot within its uh, stomach. Is mm-hmm. worth the shot. Um, do you want to do your fire damage to me? Take fire. Uh, oh, you're in lava. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, no, that wasn't an ooh. That was an oh. <laughs> it's kind of the same. <laughs> it's not the same. <laughs> Thirty-four points, okay. seventeen fire damage. Seventeen. Thanks, Max. Ah! I mean, hey, he helped a little. He's that doing his best. Good. Okay. That's great. Um, I can't cast two. Sp- I was thinking of dimension dooring in, grabbing Lucius, Misty stepping out, and I can't do that, can I? I has to be one. Has to be a cantrip if one's um. Bonus action. Okay, well, I'm just going to do this the old fashioned way and I'm going to wander up to. Uh, so you're going to spend half a movement to get closer to the worm? Yeah. Time to sing. Time, Time to, to sing. Don't <laughs> forget <laughs> it's nearly losing it. <laughs> worm. I'm going to manifest Tiangong out here. Out in the lava? Oh, he's going to go gonna as soon as it appears, yeah, it vanishes. Okay. Yeah. I won't manifest then. Is that all right? Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. I'd yeah. say that no, that's smart enough. Yeah, that's Thank fine. You. Yeah, that's fine. No, it's smart enough. Um, <laughs> in which case, I'm gonna cast um, hex on it. Okay. Um, so uh, hex blades curse, or is no, this just the spell hex? hex? The okay. spell hex as okay. my bonus action. Um, this is also I can um, put disadvantage on ability checks made by the creature. So let's say. Dex. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, no. ability checks aren't saving throws. So. Oh, what could I, yeah? What could I do with ability check? Like ability checks is like grappling a creature, or if it had to like break through History. something. What, what he tips. did for the grapp the chomp bitey chomp. Can't, saving no. throws. No. Grappling then. Throws. Grappling. I mean, if you do strength, strength's a good one. Like strength. in case it has to break through something, it does weaken okay. it in some way, or if it does grapple um, something. So but unfortunately, this. that's one of the downsides. This hex is not saving throws. But I do want plus one d six. Uh, and then I'm gonna go down to town, and I might need a little help just tracking all the damage on this because there's probably a lot. Well, just do each da- do mm. damage per attack, and then that way we can just track. It. Sixteen to hit on the first. Sixteen does not hit. Scrapes along its obsidian carapace. Oh my fucking god! Um, <laughs> good. Eighteen. Nope. Scratches alongside it, unable to pierce through. Oh. Is that the same roll three times? No, oh, it's a four, five, one. and a six. Nineteen. This thing is 
really tough. It's like made of rock and lava. This thing has a very high AC. I'm real peeved right now. Yeah. Uh, action surge. You get three more attacks. I'm gonna action surge. Yep. It would have been great if those. Ooh. 17. Uh, 30. That will hit. That will Hell hit. yeah. Uh, so that is um, seven, seven, plus, seven plus nine is a 16. Uh, you proud plus. of that one? No. <laughs> Sorry, that's 16, 17, 18, 19. 19 plus D6 for Hex. Uh, plus a D6 for Hex. Uh, 20. Um, so points of damage for that attack. And I want to special Eldritch Smite. Okay. What's that? Which is... It's basically like the Paladin's Divine Smite ah. for Warlocks. <laughs> it's a Warlocky Smite. But it's a, to... I don't have to have a bonus, it's like a... You spend a spell slot. It's a spell slot. Yes. So oh, it's just is... like a free action. It's yeah. just like Divine divine yeah. Smite for a Paladin. Damn. There is many spell slots. But obviously Warlocks like, have yeah. less spell slots, but they get yeah. back on a short rest, mm. so... It is can't. just a D8, isn't it? It's D8, D8 per spell level. So your your what level spell is your highest? Three. So you get three D8. Uh, well, it's complicated because I have other things. Yeah, but, but those um, things are coming from items or yeah, warlock infusions. Three, yeah, your spell slot is third level, so you get three D8. So three D8. Damn. Six attacks, and you've just added another three D8. But also keep one. in mind, like casting hex at the start. If all of those attacks had hit, that's an extra D6 yeah. per attack. That's another 66 damage potential. 13, so plus lot. 13 damage. Plus another 13. Great. 33 with one. So, so Tian Gong actually strikes in. You feel something cut through. Um, so that was my first that was your, that was your fourth first. attack. So you've got two more. Yeah. Oh, it's a natural fucking one. <laughs> also rolled ones on all the other dice yeah. as well. <laughs> All this magma. You did have a lot of crits. Oh, oh my god! god. Oh. She's, She's gone. She's gone. She's She's gone. gone. You guys gone. had a lot of crits last week, but that, we couldn't have done that digitally. No. We couldn't have had Kim just walk away. <laughs> Another benefit of the, the studio. That no, mic. Super bad luck. Untethered That's... from the mics, we can just Taking leave. We yeah. can just Bye. rage quit. <laughs> Well, I'm going to assume you're done with your turn then, Kim. She's on the hard liquor. She's got another tap <laughs> and end, end of turn? I believe so, yes. Okay. Um, <laughs> oh, buddy. At the end of your turn, it is going to make another tail attack against you. It's a legendary action. I think we am. <laughs> uh, that's going to be 28 to hit as it tail attacks you, Kim. I'm just going to roll the damage. 15 points of bludgeoning damage, and can you make a strength saving throw, please? I'll just move. Can you just, <laughs> can you just get rid of the dice that you're using right now? Do you I want a different two. one? Yep. No, I, I figured that it was raw. It was low. Um, this is going back. Yeah. I'm sorry, you see, but this is going back in the bag. <laughs> Is that not your high roller? Yeah. Sentry, well? Quill. Yeah. No, because the Foxy one is. Ayla. Hello. Sentry, Quill, Ayla, was it? The Magma Elemental is going to uh, roll over you guys. Oh, you. Rock and roll. Bastard. Sake. Oh, Bastard. Uh, 15 points of fire damage, so half that to seven. Mm -hmm. um, and then it's going to basically reach out. It's going to just slam into There's three targets. I'll roll a d3. Uh, one, two, three, four, four. So Ayla for the first one, and then Sentry for the next one. Uh, that's a 24 to hit Ayla, and a ooh, uh, 12 to hit Sentry. No. Uh, so this is going to be... No! No! Uh, that's going to be 13, 17 bludgeoning damage, so halved to 8. Um, and then... B -b 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 8 fire damage, half to 4. Uh, and that's it. Uh, Quill. Oh, God. Um... I don't know what to do. The healer is I don't stressed. Know what to do? Uh, There's also just so much going on at the moment. Yeah, I'm trying to keep on top of everyone's health. I know Nova's taken a ton of hits and is still in the lava. Yeah. Sentry just mega healed herself. I mean, also like, feel free to share like information. Like, like, yeah, Nova is badly injured. Yeah. Sentry yeah. is no longer bloodied, so she's above half. Like, you know, it's like you can say like she's looking, you know, in a fighting condition. Yeah. You know, so uh, Ayla and Sentry and you, Quill, are basically the and and Max as well are like kind of look like you're in a good health status. We're looking real hot right now. Yeah. Um, the tanks are up. The healer is up. It's just the DPS are all low. Yeah. <coughs> Pretty much. Okay, well, healing word, I've got 60 feet of range on that. Can I see Nova still? 
Uh, you, yeah, she's in the lava. Yes, you're in the bubble, so you can see to the very edges. Um, she is basically at the edge of your vision, though. Like, right. if she gets pushed any further, okay. you're not going to be able to see If she's off her. the map, then... Basically, yes. You, that's I designed it. Is this rock set here? Is that in... It's like a wall, part of a wall, but you can see that there's a cave that extends. Like, oh. So you if I want to get out of lava... About 15. No, no, no. It's, it's, it's all lava. It's all, all that lava. rock is like the edge of the, the flume, basically. Yeah. Okay. So you can't get out of the lava there. That is, you are like in lava. I can be the lava. You can't go into the cave. Then. The cave is also it's full of lava. Because yeah. this is the, the main That's chamber, right? Like, works, this is, yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. yeah. Mm-hmm. We're quite quite far far down this yeah. volcano right now. Yeah. yeah. It's uh, so, all lava. Um, yeah, I did a healing word at fourth level, um, and I got 17 healing with the plus six on as well. So, yeah, 17 for you, which isn't great, but I don't have to go into lava for it. Uh, and that is a bonus action. With my action action, I want to channel divinity. Okay. Um, as an action, I can present my holy symbol and one elemental that can see or hear me. Uh, he's got legendary resistances, so I'm not even going to bother with him. Okay. I don't know if that's gaming it, but no, this guy... No, it's not at all. Like, no, you can see that this thing is no you. mere elemental. This is like a primal creature of like intense power. Okay, well, in but that this case, little guy. this little gauze monster next to us, mm-hmm. I want to, yeah, I want to um, use Arcane Abjuration on him. Just as a note, at the start of your turn, did you take five fire damage? I did not. You also no. take another 18 fire damage from the little gauze monster. Oh, God. So that's what? another nine halved. Because you're being comp. Because you are engulfed oh. by this thing. So Last time it got killed before it got run to anybody gotcha. else. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Well, uh, yeah, this guy, so he has to make a wisdom saving oh. throw. <laughs> How wise is a slime of rock and Zero. Magma? Okay. Wisdom 10? Yeah. Um, great. He fails, would you believe it? He is turned um, for a minute. Actually, fails. Huh? I might roll a natural 20. I got rolled a 9. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he had to beat 20. <laughs> um, he's fa- he turns for one minute uh, or until it takes damage. Oh, okay, so it's turned. So he's basically going to run away on his turn. Yes, yeah, it's... Uh, it's- can't take reactions, can only use dash or dodge to get away from it. As it moves away, do we get an opportunity? No, no if I damage it, I damage it, it will. I, I mean, everyone sees me present, yeah. I guess, the well, So you guys know as your tactics as a team, you could, like, Quill is like, don't attack it, let it run. Mm-hmm. Like, and then, yeah, Max Max is, like, doing the same thing, like, he's ready to swing, and then he's like, oh, okay, I'll hold back. Uh-uh-uh. Yeah. Uh-uh-uh. Not this time. Not this time. Uh, and that's my entire turn. Okay, um, my turn. But, yeah, stop that guy from hurting us anymore. Golzor! Golzor! He's going to. Why is he positioning us in a line? Yeah, he's going to spit. It's more. And an intense pulse, a blast of heat. (laughs) Which gullet out (laughs) from its gullet. Hmm. Make a. (laughs) Gullet check. (laughs) Dexterity check. So just D20 plus dex. Okay. Mm. It's quite hard. So if you roll bad, it's probably not going to help. Well, yeah, You feel like a force, and you feel for a moment like you're released from this pressure, but it immediately kind of seals up, and you don't have time to, like, scramble out. Oh, I'm like, not blasted. No. Oh, that's all right. You remain in the gullet. It was just a chance okay. to escape. Yeah. Oh. For the rest of you, <laughs> almost like a kind of like condensed heat and, and like force ripples through the lava and causes it to grow in intensity. I need everyone in the dome to make a constitution. Oh, including throw. Vala. Including oh dear. Vala and Max. I'm not in the dome. Max is giving her resistance to this. You're not in the dome. 24. Uh, 24. Constitution. You're not in the dome. No. You're great. Oh, shit. Uh oh. So. What are we looking at? Seven. Seven. Twenty-four. Twenty-four. You're safe. You just beat it. Oh my god. Oh, I was close then. Five. No. <laughs> uh, Max just beats it as well. Vala failed it, unfortunately, but that means the damage, and then we have to do a separate one. Okay. Uh, this is quite a lot. Oh no. Oh dear. Uh, bu- 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 I'm actually gonna use D and D Beyond to roll this. Oh, okay. God. I rolled pretty bad. Lots of ones and twos and threes. Uh, that is going to be 31 fire damage, so half to 15. Okay. And for those of you who failed the save, the <laughs> bad news is you are all pushed 30 feet. Oh, no. Oh, Holy shit. shit. <sighs> Vala, as she's like being blown back, and I need to make some... In fact, I'll make her constitution saving throw. She passes that. Oh. Um, Max 
throws himself in front and he grabs Valor and he's going to use his Royal Guard to stop their movement. So he actually prevents those two from being blown back. Um, oh, I was thinking that if she was blown back with us, oh, the orb would come with us. No, <laughs> that she would lose concentration because yeah. she has to keep it in place. So like the, he's going to keep the ward. Um, D1 also goes <laughs> Oh, yeah, D1. Do we, oh, no. Is there any opportunity to strength save against that blast back? Uh, you, the con save. So you're not going. You're oh, fine. I'm not going. Yeah, oh, you're okay. Fine. These guys go. Grab so that's the uh, me, Sentry, no. and D1. Do you have your reaction? Yeah. Make a dexterity saving throw for me. High DC, because he's going very quickly. Natural 20. You can, you <laughs> <present>. <laughs> so as Quill is about to go flying back, nope. Ayla does manage to kind of like, as you've got the hammer sort of placed on the bottom of the dome, as Max grabs Valor, grab you grab Quill. <laughs> I um, no, it, well. for, actually, to be honest, you're both fine. Century, it's fine. You and D1 and go you. flying back. D1 just stood there, um, but D, D1 will say because she doesn't have any combat action. She's just like there are approximately uh, it would be six, twelve, eighteen, eighteen seconds until we reach the magma chamber floor, and then she just like flows backwards with you. But yeah, the but three, the two of you are now thirty feet outside of the dome, so you right. are at the very edges of their vision, like they can just barely see you. Okay. Because um, you're blown into like a tunnel kind of thing. So we just have to survive. Well, even then, when we get to the floor... As a point, my dice rolls for damage there, that was 12d8 damage. Oh my oh. god. The oh. average damage Devastate. should have been 54 and I rolled 31. Oh. That's nice. pretty lucky. Yeah. Jesus. Uh, that Good is boy. the end of Golzor's turn. He gets his legendary reactions back, Ayla. Oh, you did manage to save the bird. Uh, I need to deal Max a ton of fucking damage here. Oh no! Uh, I was having a he, it's not too bad because he did save against a lot of it. So it'd be um, fifteen. Is this the damage that he his took damage from he Bala. took, and then the damage he took from Bala? Yes. It's not too bad. He's actually looking okay. I'm gonna do the same thing I did last time. I'm gonna throw my hammer okay. outside because people need to stay up to be able to save people who are not up or yeah sure I go for know. it it's like charge i'm better used alive yeah no yeah i'd say that yeah, yeah. i go everyone is one less person um, to heal is probably a good oh idea no, uh, 23 to hit just barely hits yeah, yeah. does know, manage to that's... strike not barely actually it's slightly over um, but the hammer does fly through. <laughs> you can see Gold's all like parts of its arm are broken away. It looks badly injured. Um, uh, 19 on the hammer plus 5 lightning, then. Oh, good damage. Uh, what are we looking at here? <laughs> that is some really good damage from lightning. <laughs> 25 lightning damage. 25 I rolled like five and, and a six. So again, like the hammer flies out of the dome, smashes into its kind of fleshy, magma-colored underbelly, and you do see it kind of ripple and pulse um, as it staggers backwards, heavily injured. You can see like lava blood kind of flowing out of its wound as it kind of groans. <laughs> I still love you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Carry on. I will. Um, all right. End of, <laughs> end of turn. Yeah, because he's too far. If I was up against the edge of the bubble, would he be within 10 feet of me? Uh, he's now about 15 feet from the no. edge of the bubble. Then, no. Uh, he will, however, use a tail attack against the bird. The bird? <gasps> from the sides of the cavern wall, the tail bursts forward as a legendary action. Tail <laughs> it, it goes for Ayla. She uses me to block it. <laughs> <laughs> 20, you, this is going to be 22. Yeah, I can't shield that at all. I did stop It's going to be fire. 7, 16 points of bludgeoning damage and a strength saving throw, please, burb. <laughs> Try and catch me again. I don't ever have a reaction left now, do I, so no. I can't. Well, you just had a turn, right? Just had a turn. Oh. I was giving you that as the as the cone of effect. I'm not yeah. going to give it to you again. That was like for the heat blast uh, as a special one-off. Okay, strength plus one. Oh, two. Three. Total. Three total. Yeah. Ping him still. Ping him. Ping. Dragging me, what, closer to the thing that I turned? Yeah. But more importantly, throwing you away from the dome, uh, at which point you contact with the lava. Yep. Uh, <laughs> okay. Crispy fight. Well, I currently have a very nice amount of hit points. 
So 21. Nice. So nice. only 10 five points of fire damage. It's pretty low. Uh, that is pretty low, actually, for the lava. Uh, that was at the end of Ayla's turn. Sentry's turn. You start in lava. Yep. Uh, so that's going to be... Oh, pretty bad. 18, so half that to nine. Nice. Nine points of fire damage, and your turn. I cast Banishment on the worm. Just kidding. <laughs> uh, you can't currently see the worm. I can't see the worm. So when you're in the lava, this hasn't really come into effect because like Nova was attacking something nearby. You've got a res vision range of about 15 feet 15. when you're in the lava. Inside the dome, you can see a bit further because you're not being hampered by like stinging eyes and things like that. Mm. But in the lava, it's about 15 foot. Okay. Um, so you can see D1 and you can see the very, like, you know the direction you came from, basically. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to, yeah, grab D1, just start making my way back in the dome. Yeah. So you Makes can move 15 feet, basically. <laughs> yep. Um, you could action dash to get another 15 feet. Yeah, I'll yep. spend my whole turn and get that back in. That will basically get you guys to the very edges and inside the dome. You'd have a bonus action still, at least. Yeah, you still yeah. have a Okay. Well, at least we're in. Yeah. I'm in. Approximately okay. 12 more seconds until magma chamber floor. Nice. And yeah, I'll regain another level three spell slot. All right. As a bonus action. Now it's the end of your turn. I was genuinely considering banishing as well. I just don't know how <laughs> it's going to work with Blue Shift. I mean, would it? Oh, would, oh, he, would it take him? Mind? At the end of Century's turn. <gasps> oh, oh, another one. Another yeah. one. <laughs> no, another one. Another one. Another one. Another one. Magma one. Uh, Lucius, start of your turn. Uh, oh, that was a bit better, unfortunately. <coughs> 24 better, unfortunately. points of fire damage, so 12, because you have fire resistance still. Okay. So, I mean, you're still okay, like, but you are being slowly crushed and inside this thing, like, ah. Mark. Hello. Here we go. Stop Here we go. I'm going to try. Yes. And use the binding sphere. Do you, <laughs> you're the one who has the binding sphere. He is, yeah. I'm going to try and capture it from the inside. <laughs> <laughs> like throwing a Pokeball down the I guess the first man. thing to check is to see if it works. Then so I can figure out it has what happens to you. Half its hit point max. It does. Disadvantage on the saving throw. Yeah. Do we actually DC know 20 whiz. Okay, Wiz. Do we uh, know keep if in this mind, thing is consumable, by the way? This it is not consumable, but once you've used it against a creature, if it you can't use it against in, yeah. again in that fight, uh, so you would okay. have to like yeah. come like wait, you have to yeah. basically wait a day to use it again. Twenty gotcha. wisdom. That's well. Here's the thing. I'm gonna roll the wisdom saving throw. Resistance. I roll it's a ten. Gone. I'm gonna spend a legendary resistance to succeed. So you feel like you kind of open the ball, yeah, and you feel this like energy try and reach out, but the worm kind of. <laughs> and it resists being pulled All inside. Right. But I would say, Lucius, you felt dangerously close to, like, as the kind of pulling, you're like, uh, oh, oh, Why I am gonna... I going in? <laughs> am I Pokemons now? Well, we don't I know. I could have been. Uh, all right. Oh, I'm going to use two sorcery points to quicken a spell. Okay. Here's my other idea. <laughs> I love it. So, Wall of Ice, you can make a dome. Yeah? I'm going to try and make a dome inside its gullet. That's Can pretty you... fucking cool. So it's a 10 foot radius dome, right? Yeah. I mean, it's okay. What I would say for this is the creature is big enough that a 10 foot dome, it will expand, it will make it uncomfortable. It might, might make want to throw you up. It's not going to do yeah. damage to it, right? What it will do is it prevents all of that lava Imagine from affecting being you. Inside You're like it, inside yeah. the, the dome. Imagine device. it's like on the side and it's against his gullet. Yeah, and it's a dome, isn't it? It's, it's a dome, a so it's... Okay, so you're still going to potentially take some damage. Um, I would say... What I would say is this will count as if you've done enough damage to force it to make a saving throw to see if it throws up. Okay. All right? So normally you have to do uh, 50 points of damage um, to cause it to... Three in one up. hit as well. Um, in one... Well, in a, a turn, basically. Oh, okay. In a turn. So you could do it. But with this, we're just going to assume that this is basically... You're causing such a like an explosive, like, <laughs> to its gullet. It's going to have to resist trying to regurgitate you. Um, oh, no, whoops. I rolled the wrong thing. I'll just roll physical dice. Uh, unfortunately, it's going to be, like, 31 on its con save. So it does kind of... Like, <laughs> it manages to, like, kind of swallow enough that it doesn't force you up um but you are now sort of semi protected inside this dome uh i'll, I'll, I'll take half damage like like i'll do less damage to you next turn because uh, you're protected somewhat thank you 
Uh, anything else? That I maxed out my go. There. That's your go maxed. Um, Magma Elemental B, which was this one, just runs away. See ya. Bye. Uh, he's gone. Don't have that fuck off. Um, he's not going to take damage yeah. ever. Yeah, and he's also not going to fail. He's not going to pass the succeeding throw. Yeah. Uh, Maximilian will turn around and he will make uh, two attacks against the new one that's survived. Uh, that's going to be a hit on the first one and a hit on the second one. So I'm just going to roll all of his damage together. Uh, that's going to be 10, 18, 22 points of damage to that one. Um, just kill them off. Uh, and that is all he can do this turn. Uh, we go to Nova Vija, who is in the lava. Still, yeah. Are you? Yes. Yeah, really oh, you are good. so far away. Oh, God. 35, halved would be 17, I think. Mm -hmm. Not too bad. Um, Still your standing? Turn? Floating? Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, am I in dif um, it's difficult terrain, isn't it? You are slowed, as long as you are in the magma. If I use Misty Step, can I get up to the worm? 30 foot. 30, you'd be just out of melee range. But then can I use my movement? Then you can move, yeah. yeah. Sweet. Yeah, staying in the lava, Nova Vija chases after the worm. I'm gonna regret this if this doesn't well, happen. Maybe. So. Well, you got three attacks. Yeah, no action surge this time. Would you like to bless them? I'm not going to bless them. I've been rolling like garbage. Anyone want to bless them? You want me to do it? Yeah. Okay. 15, 25, 26, 27, 28. It's garbage damage, though. Suck my ass. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 points of damage. 13 points of damage. You carve through. You can see heavily wounded now, covered in, you know, Concussive blows and sword strikes and the great damage from Sentry's Starbreaker like is badly hurt at this point. This worm. I can't use Maddening Hex because I used Misty Step, didn't I? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. Just checking. So second attack. <laughs> Eighteen to hit. Does not hit. Third attack. We'll try and get through. We'll finish this combat turn and then we'll take a break. Okay. 24 to hit. Does hit. Uh, five, uh, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21 points of damage. Another heavy blow. The creature now leaking wounds, weakened, sluggish, worms around it. It is still unfortunately alive, but heavily, heavily injured. It's close. So close. Nice. Uh, mm, extra attack. No, can't do that. End of turn. That's all I got. It's going to use its reposition. You take 10, that's already halved. It's 20 half to 10. Fire damage, Nova. Oh, it's next to me. It's next to me. <laughs> Seeds. Hey, a everyone look at me. Chicken. Um, okay. I might Tomb of Lobistus with that damage. Okay. That's probably a smart idea. I'm just seeing how many hit points you got left. If you want to, you can just do that. Tomb of Levista, so, so I'm gonna, reaction when so, you take damage. So I'm right? not gonna take ten, so the tomb takes ten, so it's yep. down to forty. Yep. I am, however, vulnerable to fire damage. Oh. Okay. <laughs> we'll see how that goes next turn. Yeah. Would that would that would that, that fire would damage? That affects that fire damage, I yeah. think. Yeah, so it so becomes twenty. Twenty. Yeah. It's okay then. Okay. Um, Magma Elemental A, which is the one currently set, is actually going to engulf at this point D1 Valor. Uh, that's it, it's just going to be D1 and Valor, so it kind of like engulfs them both. D1 is unaffected by the flame, um, just kind of stands there happily, but uh -huh, Valor that tickles. takes 11 uh, points of fire damage. I'm then going to hit Valor and D1. Um, Valor takes a blow. Max is within reach, but he didn't use his Royal Guard last turn, um, so it does actually hit Valor. It's going to be 9, 12 points of bludgeoning, which is half to 6, 10, 5. She takes another 11 points of damage. Okay, not and bad. Concentration. concentration. Yep, passes. No problem there. <sighs> but it's now engulfed around her. Uh, Quill, your turn. Chase. Uh, um, and I need to get At the back. Start of your turn, Quill. Oh uh, yeah. Uh, okay. I've got it. Well, I don't worry about the tet. Don't worry about the five. 
because you're taking the lava damage. Oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Jesus. 29 plus 14 is 39. 43? Oh. 21? No, 20. 21. So 21. Fire damage. Fire damage. Okay. Okay. As you feel your body, you know, the divine magic managing to hold off much of this fire, but still like burning. You can feel your skin and feathers but raw and blistered. How's it looking? Uh, delicious. Oh, Crispy. Okay. I'm looking <laughs> so good right now. I am hungry. Finger looking good. You <laughs> <say>. <laughs> Succulent. Come on down to Gozo's <laughs> Crispy Chicken Restaurant. <laughs> Yo, guzzle it down. Open Straight down the gut. Um, <laughs> 21 herbs and spices. <laughs> I've, uh, 21 points of damage. Herbs and spices. <laughs> I've seen this guy. Has he been doing like reaction uh, attacks? Has anyone actually moved away from this thing? Once. No. No, because he's got 10 feet reach. So you could technically go in the bubble and he, yeah. he's still, you're in his range. So you Well, no, I, I, I think I would be getting out of range of him. To, no, you wouldn't. To you get would... in the bubble. To get in the very edge of the bubble, you would still be within his reach. Yeah, you'd But it means that he could attack you on his turn. True, but. But you'd be in the bubble. It does. I was thinking of using like shocking grasp or something, but I will. Good. I will rotate for now just to get into the bubble. Okay. Um, and still, I guess, in his range. Um, uh, and I do still have, I do have a fifth level, turns out. I don't know why I pissed a ninth level away. Um, <laughs> it's probably a good thing you did. I think yeah. a lot of a people lot would of be dead yeah. if you had yeah. Yeah. I know yeah. Lucius would have been dead. Yeah. So I'm going to do another, getting very close. another mass cure wounds. Um, on, uh... Keep in mind, you cannot do it on Lucius, because you cannot see I know. Well, in that case, that makes things easier. I do it to everyone around me. Uh, yep. Yeah. Um, 3d8 plus 6. <laughs> <laughs> 15 healing to... I've really hurt my foot. Wow! 15? <laughs> to everybody. So it's not That's good. Bad. That actually yeah. heals up Valor as well. And, and Nova, yeah. 15. Uh, 15. Not 15. to Lucius. Not to Lucius. He's too far away. Um, and I, yeah, I'll, uh, no, I can't bonus action. Yep, that's my turn. Right, in that case, before we take a break, I'm going to take Golzor's turn. First things first, does his heat blast regenerate? Roll a d6. It does not. Good. So instead, he's going to bite Quill, he's going to tail attack uh, Sentry, and he's going to tail attack Ayla, because uh, those are the ones he's most worried about at the moment. There it is. Actually, no, not Ayla, because she's in the bubble. He's going to go tail attack against Nova. But I'm right here, yeah. buddy! That was a close crit. 19 oh. plus a lot. Uh, this is, he's going to hit you. Like tw This is like 35. Unshieldable uh, damage, yeah. So you're going to take damage. I need you to make a con save, uh, sorry, a dex saving throw as well, please, Quill. Dex save. Why doesn't anything hit me in the mind? <laughs> uh, it will. Wait till you fight till Zarkira. Zy <laughs> 13. Go fight into That's going to be flare. 25 points of bludgeoning damage. And then what was your dex save? Uh, like 13. You are also swallowed alongside Lucius. Oh, oh, oh hey, man. Oh, in you go. I can't see him, though, right? You hits my dome. Joe. You are both blinded. <laughs> Screeching <laughs> against yeah, your dome. would impact something, and you are pressed up against, like, musculature. You can't see him. Why is it so cold in here? <laughs> um, it's freezy hot. Oh boy. And then sentry. <laughs> yep. 26. Yep. With a tail attack. The proper way to cook a chicken. <laughs> like, super heating and super freezing. <laughs> 24 like points of bludgeoning Flash. damage. Yeah. Make, um, You'll knock 10 feet out of the bubble, which I'll do in a minute. Okay. Okay. And then Nova. I'm so hungry. 25. Mm. <laughs> for that's going to be 18 points of bludgeoning Nova's damage. Nova's in the tomb. Yeah, you're in the tomb, so the tomb takes 19 points of damage, but you are still <laughs> moved. Ooh. Right, Push further away. away. OK. Uh, at the very edge of 30 feet there, basically. Um, and that is going to be Golzor's turn, and we are going to take our break. Ah, take a break. Yeah. Yeah. I will say this. The worm looks heavily weakened. It is now fighting on pure survival instinct. Um, in fact, actually, no, it can do one more thing. <laughs> oh. It begins to move away. No! no! It has two things eaten. It's full. Its belly's full. Num, num, num. And it's weakened. It's heavily injured. This thing is in survival mode. It begins to turn, and it begins to tunnel its way away. Sounds and like me. That is where we're gonna take. Oh, it. oh God! <laughs> 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 we 
we'll see you in five minutes. I don't know if, I don't know if we're going to replay the fan art video. We'll do something for five minutes, or it'll be a screen or something. Just end the part. Oh, that's right. I need that. <laughs> the chaos intro is fine. Yes, a chaos outro. So that is going to be it for part one of High Rollers. We will see you again in part two very soon. See ya. Hello, welcome back to part two of High Rollers Erois. Uh, before, in our previous part, uh, the party have descended into the magma chamber of Volcanos, where they are currently fighting against Golzor, the Great Worm, uh, that has emerged out of the caverns. Um, and thanks to Valor, a sort of protective sphere of energy has been protected from the most harm of the llama, lava, llama? Llama. <laughs> Oh, no. Um, oh, however, Golzor's uh, incredible you know, tail that is emerging from the cavern walls, his ability to blast superheat and swallow creatures whole has unfortunately forced a lot of the party to be separated. We currently mm -hmm. have Quill and Lucius inside <laughs> its gullet. We have Nova out in the very edges of the cavern in the lava directly, um, and also a giant magma elemental which is currently engulfed Valor um, and D1 inside the bubble sphere as well. Um, but we are jumping straight back into the combat at the very top of a brand new round <laughs> with Ayla. Hello. Hello. Take it away. Can't reach the bastard. But I Not will swim turn. as close as I can to him. Yeah. So you're going to take some damage. I'm just going to move you. You're going to dash. Yeah. yeah, I have to to reach him. To reach him, yeah, because your movement is halved. So you're going to take some damage here. Uh, but that's okay, you've got lots of hit points. Uh, so we are looking at 13, 22, 30, 42. So half that to 21. That's a lot. Fire damage. Hey, it was all right. Um, so you swim through the burning sensation arcing over your skin. Um, but uh, the magical fire potion protecting you from the worst of it. Um, as you reach Golzor, but unfortunately without enough momentum to attack. Yeah, I'm just having a quick look. Um, so, can I bonus action uh, set off my aura of lightning yep. next to him, yep. at least? Yeah, you can actually, yeah, yeah you've been raging. DC 19. Ooh, that is a natural 20. Damn it! Plus Ooh. 8, so yeah, 28. He does succeed, he's gonna take half damage. So his body kind of like undulates and moves out of the way. 22 damage. So halved. Uh, so 11 points of damage. Um, but yeah, the lightning does arc over its skin. At the end of your turn, Aether, he's gonna make a tail attack against you as well. Um, 30 to hit. That'll do it. It's gonna be 15. Uh, 24 points of bludgeoning damage, so half that to 12, because you're raging, and then a strength saving throw to see if you are knocked back. Um, desperate to try and knock you away. Uh, oh, uh, 13 plus 12, 25 just barely succeeds like you manage to kind of like as it hits you divert some of the momentum and stay in place next to the creature as it desperately tries to knock you away um that is at the end of your turn sentry um can i cast moonbeam at the worm please <laughs> that's a very interesting question <laughs> moonbeam inside a volcano in lava i mean yeah i don't see why you couldn't um can you just check like on the spell like read it out for me was it do um, so, um, it shines down a beam of light in a five foot radius, 40 foot high cylinder, set it on a point of in range, that being 120 feet. Yep, easily enough. Um, and then you have to make a con save throw, and then it will take 4d10 radiant damage or half on a failure. And then every turn it starts its turn in the moonbeam, does it do that? Or is it on your turn you can use the moonbeam again? Um, on each of your turns after you cast it, you can use an action to move the beam in and within 60 feet. The same damage, it's, okay. it's when he starts his turn in it. They okay. I think they take damage on their turn. Yeah, on the saving throw, I rolled like a 33 on the con save, so... Okay, mm -hmm. it's half it's That'll half, do half it. It's half. Half. Uh, six, half of what, 40, 10? 18, 20, 26. So half. half to 13. I mean, that damage is definitely like... The, the moon, the radiant energy is burning away. Most of its armor has been broken off or shattered, leaving this fleshy underbelly it's still standing, but it is still there. End of turn, Sentry. End of my turn. At the end of your turn, it's going to make another tail attack against Ayla, desperate to get her away as it wants to escape. Uh, that's a natural one, so it misses um, on that. Lucius, you start your turn inside its belly. Woohoo! Belly. 
Uh, I did say I was going to do half damage because you did summon that sort of dome of ice. Um, the lava's probably going to do enough damage to probably break the dome after this, like once you've done it. That's going to be another uh, 10, so half to five fire damage for you. Um, can I, knowing that... Hello, Quill! You don't know that Quill's been swallowed. Okay. You could be like, that, <laughs> but you don't know that Quill's in there with you. I'm just going to do some damage to it. So okay. I've got, picture this, right? I've got the dome sideways. Mm -hmm. So the base of it is the dome against... Your turn is probably going to break. So it's there for now, but it's going to break and collapse in on you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Turn. I'm going to hit the flesh that I can see. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you kind of push yourself up against the dome and then use the... Chromatic the orb. Okay. Of ice. All right. Here we go. In the dark. Is it disadvantage? Uh, technically it is, because you are blinded. All right. How are you going to miss? Because it could, 13, like, hit the 26. dome above him. It still hits, yeah. yeah. Hit him. This is 98. Hit me. Oh, shit. Okay. So here we go. Here we go. 41 Ooh. points. Oh, yummy, oh, yummy. Nice. Well Damagios. Okay. So, from inside, the orb strikes. You manage to, you know, not miss. Even though you're blinded, you feel the cold air around you and you focus on the area where heat's coming from. The orb shatters against it and you actually hear something rip and tear. And um, not enough that you can see anything outside, but something collapses. You feel like blood and lava rush around you. Ayla, who's next to it, you see the worm kind of reaches back up and then it goes still and it just begins floating in the lava, no longer moving. It doesn't throw us up, though. <laughs> it does not. We killed it. <laughs> uh, I will say, it is dead. However, because there is still lava and you guys are still trapped inside, we're going to stay in initiative for now. Yeah. 41 points of damage when it was already low was a lot. That was a ton of damage, yeah. Um, for those of you inside, you are no longer restrained. You are still blinded. Um, mm -hmm. but you can try and move out of this thing. Now, because it is filled with lava, the same rules of half movement apply. Um, so you have to basically spend whatever movement you How have. deep into this thing are we? So you'll find out. So, Lucius, it's still your turn. That was your action. Um, I'm going to use Dancing Lights, which is just an at will. Uh, it's an action still to cast, yeah. You right. can quicken it. Yeah, I'm quicken it with two... Because it's a can... Mm, yeah, because it has to be it's a can, can trip. Yeah, so I think that works. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, you fill your lights and you do see, like, a little bit above you, a little bird foot. Jump scare. <laughs> okay. yeah. oh, what the oh. hell are you doing in here? I got swallowed too, Lucius. We need to find a, a point to get out. I think it's up. Uh, up. Okay, this way. Right, follow me. I'm still in this ship. to your claws. Oh, okay, okay. And so and you're not going to move, you're going to wait for Quill to move. I'm going to hold my movement? Nope. Okay. <laughs> You've already used your action, so you can't hold anything. I'm going to basically use my movement mm -hmm. in tandem with Quill. Okay, well, it means that you're crawling up, because he's a little bit ahead of you. Uh, because you're half movement, you go 15 feet, you're still in this thing. Okay. Um, and it's still filled with lava, and it's still bad. Yeah, we're um, just pushing through. Yeah. So, because, yeah, because there is still a danger. Also, that magma elemental doesn't disappear. It's still... Oh, okay. Um, yeah, okay, fair enough. Yeah. Uh, that is Lucius's turn. Max's go, kind of, he looks and he's like... I think they've destroyed it. How long? And he looks to D1, like, how long until we reach the bottom? Six seconds until we reach the bottom of the magma chamber. He just looks around. He's like, I'll turn it. And he brings his sword down. He's going to try and take out the magma. Let's deal with this thing. He looks to sentry and he says it. Uh, that's going to be a miss. <laughs> oh, nice. Cool line for. Actually, no, it's not because this thing's got lower AC. That's going to be 15 to hit. He still hits. Uh, oh, cool. All right. So that's going to be five, nine. His second one, though, I rolled a two. That definitely ah. misses. Um, but he's going to do nine points of damage to it. Um, phew, chops it in half. Nova Vija, you are in lava. That's going to be uh, 16, 20, 24, half to 12. No, you're invulnerable. So 48 fire damage to the tomb. So the tomb breaks after 12 points. So you would, okay, so 12, how does this work? Yeah, <laughs> okay. because, because it says as well that I, I'm vulnerable until yeah. the ice until melts. Breaks. So, so if 18. it goes. I would say, this is how I'm going to rule it, right? Yeah. You're going to take, the, the tomb takes 12, it dealt 24 damage. Mm -hmm. You take 12, you half it to six. Okay. Yeah, yeah. sound fair? Nice. Yeah. That works. Right, totally fair. your turn. <laughs> 
Uh, it happens at the end of my turn. Oh, it happens at the end of your turn. So you're like Aww. stuck there and then, ah, I'm in, yeah. I'm in lava. I'm again. back in lava again. <laughs> uh, the Magma Elemental uh, still has um, Valor and Thingy engulfed. It's going to do five damage to Valor and D1, but it's mainly against Valor that it matters. Valor, let's make a concert. Yep, she's fine. She's maintaining concentration like a boss. It is then going to make two attacks one against Sentry, one against Max. Against Sentry, we have 21. Just hits. That's going to be 15, 19 bludgeoning damage. 19, okay. And then 8 fire damage, half to 4. Cool. I need to do a con save for my moonbeam. Oh, yes, please do. So that would be. It took uh, for 19 damage, I think. So DC would be. Yeah, DC's 10. That's a 1. That's a fair well. <laughs> what's your bonus to Constitution? Uh, sevens, eight. Eight, still a failure. So Moonbeam unfortunately Girl. goes, um, but there's worse things. Yeah. Uh, and then against Max, uh, that is also going to be a hit. Said you were well behaved. <laughs> Literally. You were the child. Yeah. For sixteen point damage to Max. Lord of the Rings reference. <laughs> <laughs> cool back, nice. <laughs> I mean, well, <laughs> so pissed. <laughs> <Look at it. laughs> Quill. Yeah. Uh, Start of your turn. How much damage do I take? Uh, oh no. As long as you're in the gullet, the lava is slightly lessened. Right, yeah. mm, so less as long as you're in the gullet, it's not doing good. Uh, that is going to be 10, 15, 16, 20, half oh. to 10. Okay. Oh. Fire damage. Okay. Okay. How you doing, boo? <laughs> uh, well, looking tasty for Lucius. I'm looking real good. Lucius looking real is real good. hungry. Yeah, he's um, <laughs> just chicken drippings. Mm. <laughs> is that 21 spice? <laughs> uh, I'm going to tell Lucius to follow me, and I'm going to cast Expeditious Retreat on myself. Mm -hmm. oh. um, so when I cast it, I then am able to use a dash action. That's bad um, action. And then uh, when I cast the spell, and then as a bonus action on any other turn. So, so I, I had your ankles gripped, right? Right, keep in mind, just go, <laughs> well, keep in mind, Jeff, you want to take Lucius with you, you half your movement yeah, speed again, to. and yeah. you're already half movement because you're in lava. Because carrying it, and Quill's not very strong, so you can't really carry Lucius. He's going to be pretty heavy. Can I carry. theoretically fly? Nope. This I guess true. I have a swim speed, yeah. right? Yeah. Yes. Um, well, even then it doesn't help you in lava. No. Okay. Um, helps you in combat, which is why Ayla could have, like, can physically, could have physically struck and stuff like that, but it doesn't help you in swim speed. Uh, I'm just going to tell Lucius to follow, and then I'm going to kick his hands off my talons. <laughs> and, <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> Let me figure this out. So, action, expeditious retreat. So, I'm doing... so you immediately dash 30, but yep. that's half to 15. Half to 15. You're still in the gullet. Okay, and then I move. use another, for my move action, another 15 feet of movement. That takes you out into the main lava and gets you 10 feet out of the creature's mouth. So. But you're in lava. I'm still in lava. So Everything's lava. You're basically next to Ava. Okay. So you watch Quill like, like burning and sizzling, like pulling himself free. <laughs> Smells real good. Uh, and then... Also, because like again, because this is fancy, right? You guys are literally swimming in lava. It's the potion and the magic of your like armor and your resilience and your you know nearly divine level magical powers yeah. that you are not actually on fire and burning, but your magical resistances are wearing away, and that's your hit points. As soon as you hit zero in this, it's like <laughs> magmaphobic layer. Yeah, instead of hydrophobic. Sure. <laughs> it's a it's a bonus action to yeah. Gold you potion. bonus action expeditious retreat. So yeah. could I just take a little bit longer to feed myself a potion? Uh, I mean, yes, in theory. If you um, use an action to use a potion. I think I'll go with... You have to drink that, by the way. I have to actually the drink this potion. potion yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's okay. going to be quite hard. That's hard resin. Uh, <laughs> you mean the dice? The dice, yeah. Oh, oh, the dice, and then yeah. spit them out. And well, I'm going to I'm gonna pop a superior. That didn't make any noise. <laughs> <laughs> kind of. A little noise. A little a noise. So yeah, pop a superior, superior, which is yeah. one, two, three, is this four, five. No, that's the supreme. If it's the eight, the eight. <laughs> I close that one up. <laughs> oh no, it's going to the lava. It's I pop. The same one, isn't it? No, no, no it's different. This one. Nice. God damn it. There should be one which is sixty-eight, which is the superior. I'm just going to use sixty-eight from this potion. Okay. Um, I think you did actually have the correct one. And these are d4s. D4s, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, sixty-four. So, sorry, sixty-fours, yeah. Um, sixty-four right. plus six. Uh, two, four. Five, eight, eleven, thirteen. 
um, healing from that potion. Okay. Which is not amazing, but I can't do any more movement. I can't do much else. Okay. Um, so I'll, I'll heal myself for 13. All right. It might keep me alive for another turn. It might do. Uh, Goldzor is dead. Uh, Ayla, at the start of your turn, you're in lava. I am. It's lava time. Is there any... Let me let me do my lava there, because yeah. I've got to do maths. Yeah. This is the episode title, Tom. You're in lava. 21. 10 points of fire damage. Terrible pun. That's already half. Floor is lava. So is lava. Everything's um, lava. Is there a way that lava. I can... So Lucius, how far down is, is Lucius okay. in this You would creature? have to crawl in to find out. Is there any wound it's pitch black. on the creature that I could try and rip you can open? Make one. You can try and make one. Yeah. Ever supreme. Just he's like... got wounds on him already, right? Yeah, he's got some wounds on him, yeah. You can try. Can I find one of them and try and rip it open to see if I can yeah. stop Lucius from having to crawl so far? Sure, yeah, yeah. make a uh, strength check. Okay, I'm Just still like raging. Athletics, yeah. So, so you have advantage. Imagine Just straight three. strength? Uh, athletics. Athletics? And you have advantage. Okay. It's the bit where you go inside the big the worm and then you chainsaw your way out. Yeah. Great. 14 Love plus it. 13, 20. I'd say that that's enough that you find, like, you know, probably one of Nova's sword cuts and you kind of dip your hands into it, oh, burning anyone. as they are. And you're like, and you rip chunks and you just see, uh, like, a, a white glove with purple sort of sleeve. <laughs> Like, can I grab it? <laughs> well, you can. It could be yes. any white glove with purple sleeves. <laughs> <laughs> it could be. Um, so it's a mic. You, can, you can grab him. <laughs> you will have to use your movement, and you'd be halving it again. So it's halved in lava and then halved again. So you could go 10 feet dragging Lucius. Can I do that? Yeah, sure. Yeah, you can do that. <laughs> so you kind of go like 10, and then Lucius, you get pulled. You feel something grab your arm. And you see, like, a kind of tattooed, lightning-scarred hand grab your arm from a thing that's just been ripped. From... And you're just... <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> unburst you from its wound. like, cartoons where, like, Wile E. Coyote suddenly plummets or, like, spins off frame and there's still some stuff there. And after that's it. my dancing lights. Yeah. <laughs> 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 just, 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 like, in the shape of Lucius. <laughs> um, yeah. But, yeah, you are pulled through. And you are now... I'm not going to make you take more lava damage because you already took some. It's just lessened inside the gullet. But right. you, it's next turn you will. So. Right. Right. Uh, so Thank that's you. pretty much going to be like that's, that's your fine. action and move yeah, to fall out. So sentry, you are in bubble. Yep. So only five points of fire damage to you. Nice. I'm going to help Max take care of this magma. Magma boy. Magma boy. Magma balls. So I'm going to make two. <laughs> that's the episode title. Steve Jobs. Magma balls. <laughs> that's the episode title. It's not. Oh, <laughs> Who's gold saw? Magma. <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Please, if somebody knows that meme, please remake it for me. It's my favourite meme. Uh, <laughs> I don't it's know why it's so funny. funny. I don't know why it's so funny either. It's gone. It just makes me Lee laugh balls. so much. <laughs> you Steve Jobs link the balls. It's just like Dr. Manhattan just looking so, like, dead. Uh, it gets me. Anyway. It gets me. Rihanna's just rolling damage because I'm assuming she hit. Yeah. I got 27. Yes, that yeah. hits. Yeah. Alrighty, level three divine smite incoming. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> Over kishy um, yeah, It's This is going to be overkill. Eight, ten, Can you tell us how many hit points it had left at the end? 21, 23, 24, 25, 26. Yeah. 31. Yeah. Is there anything else? No, 31. 31. It had oh, 20 seven. hit points left. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you, as you plunge Starbreak into it, it is reduced to zero hit points. Oh, shit, no. Oh. Everyone oh, in oh, the oh, wait, 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 wait. Can I, can I oh, uh, oh. shield master shove it five feet as a bonus oh. action? Oh. Kick an exploding boy. Do you, yeah. you just get to shove it? Like, yeah. What does shield master say? I can bring it up if you need to. Uh, so. I know finding feats is a bit of a pain. It's on your features list normally. Features. Bam, bam, bam. Features. Bam, bam, bam. Bam, bam, bam. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> If you take the attack action on your turn, I've got it here, it's okay. Nice. You can use your bonus action to try and shove a creature within five feet of you with your shield. Um, and I think shove action is like an actual thing in the place. I'm just going to fuck it, I'm just going to say you do it. Um, so you <laughs> shove it five feet, you will still take the deck saving yes. throw, but That's you fine. will stop it from. You said that very dramatic. You will still take <laughs> you. Do damage do. for you. <laughs> so, dexterity saving throw. <laughs> Hold it! <laughs> what? <laughs> 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 
17. What are you doing? 17. Yeah. 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 Yes. Why? So you're going to take half damage. Nice. Uh, <laughs> 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 I've got the Phoenix Wright music in my head now. Oh, I thought it was Mortal Kombat. Yeah. Yeah. It, sounds like Mortal Kombat. It, does, it does sound a little bit like uh, Mortal Kombat. 13 bludgeoning. Mm -hmm. And nine fire, so four fire. Cool. So yeah, thirteen, so seventeen damage total to Sentry. Alrighty. Nice. Um, bu -bu 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 that was it's Sentry's cool. go. End of turn, Sentry. Uh, let me see. Uh, yeah. Lucius. Yeah. Lava time. You in lava. 12, you in lava. Thirty-one, fifteen points of fire damage. Okay. Uh, you are half movement speed, but you are able to freely move as you wish. I will also okay. remove the magma boy. But it's half movement. It is half movement. So you can get where you currently are. You're 10 feet out. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. It's 30 feet, so you can get halfway. Or if you dash, you could get inside the dome. I guess that would be the best, because you've got good movement. I'll do that, and I'll okay. cast before I move. Armor okay. of Agathis on myself. Is that an action? You... Is that what you <laughs> Yeah, that would be <laughs> <a movie. laughs> I shut down. I literally shut down. Uh, it's my last... How many font points do I have? Left? I don't think I have enough. Okay, I'm just going to dash. Just dash? Yeah. Okay. Lucius is in the dome. I'm in you the still dome. still take some damage in the dome, but, yeah, but you might be able to get out very less, quickly. Yes. Far less. Yeah. Um, all right, Lucius' turn is done. Yes. Maximilian. I'm um, seeing you enter and seeing you badly burn. Maximilian will uh, resume his kind of protection of valor. He will restore 20 hit points to you, Lucius, Ooh. with his healing flames. Um, he actually kind of summons like a kind of burning flame around his fist, and you feel, no! you feel the wounds on yours. Like, <laughs> oh, but then they... Very disconcerting. Yeah. Thank you. Then we uh, have... I was inside it. Nova Vija. I'm in lava. Lava time! How are you looking? We'll see. Oh, no. Oh no. 27, half to 2, 13. I'm fine. She's fine. Oh, Are you actually, though? Um, uh, in terms of movement, what do you want to do? If I action, can I get in? Action, dash, so running. You would go 5, 10, 15. Normal move gets you to here. Mm hmm. Um, and then if you dash, 5, 10, 15 gets you here. Okay. About two thirds of the way. Do I bonus action anything? I don't know. You could misty step if you've got... I don't know. It's a one charge only, baby. All right. So do you want to just dash to I'm going to dash, but then I'm also going to use my bonus action to second win. Oh. First time oh. I use it. D10 plus fighter level. <laughs> 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 HP. 16 HP. Not hey, bad. nothing to sniff at. That's, That's almost as much as Quill did with a mask of wounds. To everybody. <laughs> <laughs> uh, speaking of Quill, lava time. Oh, good. <laughs> Seven, oh, eight, nine. Oh. That's not good. Stinky. Uh, 17, 24. Yeah. Yeah, Thirty-five. Half. Fifteen. Seventeen. That's that's uh, a good thing we had that potion. Oh yes, my God. I did. this fight would not have happened if I think no, you we had... No, we'd all be dead. You'd be Easily. dead before you reach the bottom. <laughs> yeah. Um... Oh, God, if there's more shit at the bottom... Oh my God. Yeah, we're fucked. Uh, we're about to reach it. I can bonus action dash. Yeah, so you can uh, oh, actually, dash again. do I have to concentration check that? Yes. For what? <laughs> the, uh, oh, actually, you, took seven, you took 17, so the DC's only going to be 10. But he okay. starts to make it. That's okay. Yeah. Um, yeah, in that case, I bonus action dash uh, into dome. Inside dome. Uh, and then with my action, because I can do some healing here, not a high level. Um, healing's healing. Who's looking uh, worse than me? I What's don't think anybody you? is worse than you. Really? Oh, really? It's What's worse than you? Quill and Lucius look very Fourteen. similar in terms of injuries. Um, okay, but well, I'm going to cure wounds on myself then. Yeah, please do. Uh, so I do, I think it's 3d8, at third level I'm doing this. Um, See, if I was, you know, cruel DMs out there would have been like, you try to drink a potion in lava, potion breaks immediately. As soon as you take it out of your bag, it breaks. The moment that you open your mouth to drink sad. it, the lava goes inside you. You're dead. <laughs> <laughs> you joke, but sadly, there are some DMs out there. I know. Like that. <laughs> I know. Uh, oh, not too bad. 6, 30, 30? 30. 
13 plus 6, 19 healing. 19 nice. healing. All right, so at the end of the turn, after Quill's turn, the sphere seems to come to rest, and finally you feel rock beneath your feet, whereas before you'd been sort of suspended by magical force that Valor was creating, you actually seem to touch the base of the magma chamber. Um, and D1 will happily project, just like, we have reached the bottom of the magma chamber. If you still have the crystal device, now is the time to activate it. Um, and Maximilian, I Maximilian so. does have it. <laughs> he kind of pulls it out uh, and he hands it to D1 and D1 is like, I am ready to activate the device when you give me the command. And she will move into the middle and gets ready to activate it. What happens for those of us who aren't in the dome? You don't know. Uh, those of you in the dome are like now sort of a few feet up above. You're maybe sort of like 15, 20 feet above the dome. So you can swim down, but you're, you know, still in position. Ayla, lava time. You all just got to remember who's got the teleport spell. Yep. Uh, 24 Me. after 12 fire damage. Um, can I get into the You can easily get in the dome, yeah, because you've got 20 feet of movement, so you can go 5 feet. Yeah, it gets just with fire. one movement, you get in, kind of shove Lucius and Quill. <laughs> Imagine that. In the boobly. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm good then, yep. I think. Okay, you good? Yeah. End of turn. Sentry, yeah. five points of fire damage. Okay. What would you like to do? Anything at all? Um, can I um, move... How long is Can I move... Uh, up towards Nova and like. Um... So the thing to imagine now is now inside the dome, you, Ayla has just come in from like the ceiling. So Ayla's like swam oh, down up. and then dropped into it. Yeah. You can see Nova about 20, 25 feet mm -hmm. diagonally up. Okay. Um, yeah. So in fact, I... I'm just going to move you a bit, Nova, to represent yeah, the, yeah. the sphere lowering down. So it's fine, 10, 15. Yeah, because we were sinking the entire yeah. time. You were slowly descending. So if I move um, sort of to like the front of the dome and I cast Aura of Vitality, will that get what's, no? Is, what's the range on it? Thirty feet. Yeah, it would. Yeah, it's still good. It's diagonal, so I'd still, I'd still count it. Awesome. Maybe like just on the very cusp of it. All right, so I'll do that at level three. So as a bonus action, I'm gonna give Nova two uh, d six healing. Yay! Nice. Bram, bram. That's eight on two d six. Lovely. Thank you. Um, and can I? sort of hold out Starbreaker and hold it out so she can grab it and when yeah. she grabs it, it gives I'll an extra pull her five in. feet. Yeah, yeah, sure. And then you're gonna oh, well action you cast aura of vitality so you can't ready an action just yet. But you've got it there that Nova could probably so use it to pull herself in. Yeah. Which will help her. It'll make that five feet normal movement. Right, Lucius, five points of fire damage, because you are still in the intense heat of the dome unfortunately. Mm hmm uh, anything you would like to do? Um I'm gonna cast armor of Agathis on myself just to mitigate the next of damage. Five. Yeah, might as well. <laughs> cooling, cooling armor. Um, and then ready to go. <laughs> we <need> Nova. <laughs> I'm waiting the command. We're missing someone. Who are we uh, missing? One two, one, two, three, four, five, six, six. Oh, there's Nova. <laughs> yeah. This again. Yeah, okay, start it. <laughs> <laughs> start your turn. Uh, I know. Uh, all right, in that case, we go to Max is just going to continue. He can't really do any more healing anymore. He's just going to watch over Valor. Um, Nova Vija takes his five. Um. Can I? Yes. Can I make it within my movement? If you dash, yes, just. Can I be a little bit extra? Sure. <laughs> and cast Gravitational Thrust on my Amazon Amethyst Lodestone. <laughs> what does it remind me what Gravitational Thrust does? Um, as an action, you can expend one charge to focus gravity around a creature you can see within 60 feet of you. The target must succeed on a DC um, 18 strength saving throw or be pushed up to 20 feet in a direction of your choice. So you're going to use it on yourself to pro propel yourself 20 feet. Yes, you can absolutely do that. Mark off a charge. You willingly fail the saving throw, so Nova kind of like moves a little bit and then you watch as she kind of aims the bracelet behind her because it kind of pulses out from Zarkira's old bracelet. And like Iron Man or the Martian, like, yeah. like, like uh, thingy from the Martian, you're like, I'm going to fly like Iron Man. Yeah. Whee! And then she comes like, yeah. smashing into the as ground. Doing like a head Catch count. me! Yeah. <laughs> Lava kind of pours in briefly. You're holding um, the star. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, do you impale yourself with star break? No, you, like roll for it. Like century He's just like, oh, fuck, and like pulls it away, <laughs> uh, preventing you from impaling yourself. Who do I land on? Who wants um, to land on? Oh, landed on. did I do lava time? You didn't do lava time. Lava, lava time! time. <laughs> it's my new catchphrase. Lava time! Well, uh, That's great. <laughs> that is 
so much fun. New shirt win. <laughs> love it, love love it, love it. Love it. <laughs> 30, half to 15. You'll be happy to know the Magma Balls meme has been made. Yes! Ooh, wow. <laughs> uh, there we go. Uh, Quill. Uh, right, I want to <laughs> combo up with Sentry um, and cast oh. at a slightly higher level because I'm running out of slots. Um, uh, uh, Beacon of Hope. Um, okay. So all of your healing from the Aura of Vitality is maxed to oh, anyone sweet. who chooses it. And also healing from any source. Um, so now's the time to guzz those potions, uh, awesome. as they potions. say. Okay. Nah. Um, Although it affects six people, so... Uh, <laughs> who should I not pick? It's either... Yeah. How does Max look? I don't pick Ayla. Alright. <laughs> okay. You're tough! Alright, that's my turn. That's my turn. Alright, D1 is like, I am awaiting your command! <laughs> Just oh, I take five damage. Oh. Um, yeah, take your five. Um, we go to Ayla. Skip me into the bubble, please. Yeah, I will do. Everyone ready? Should we just go for it? Yeah, do it. Yeah. Yeah. Do the thing. Like, yes, if, if you do wouldn't mind, <laughs> I've been holding this the entire time. <laughs> um, yeah, and like so D1 is like activating the device. She plunges it into the ground like a kind of spike. Um, and then she touches a few sigils kind of around the base, slides a few rings of crystal and metal. Um, and then you watch as it sort of expands and begins hovering in place. Um, and then you feel this intense thoom, thoom. Thoom, 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 and it begins building into this rapid beat. And you watch as the lava around you almost begins flowing in a current. Oh. Um, and Ooh. rocks begin breaking. And Valor is just like, I can't hold those out as the rocks you yes, see slowly descending down. We need to go, we need to go now. No, oh, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, took a few. No. <laughs> Teleport. Right, Teleport to. The star, uh, star chaser, storm chaser, storm star chaser. Storm chaser, and you have an associated object. Yes, a crystal. Oh, a sorry. crystal. Hundred percent chance of succeeding. I'd like to think that we all teleport into my bedroom, uh, and it's really too small I mean, for that, everyone. That's where it would be. Yeah. Like, where do you, do you take, take residual from? lava with us mm -hmm. into your um, bedroom? We'll see. Oh, this spell instantly transports you and up to eight willing creatures of your choice that you can see within range. So no, it does not take you lava. Mm -hmm. Just your individual selves. Um, I swallowed a lot of love. Oh, I was hoping I would get to roll on the teleport mishap. Do have I... you vanish 300 feet up in the air somewhere? That's why I took a little crystal. Mm, that's why you took a little crystal. Um, do I take lava damage at the beginning of that initiative round just because. Uh, right, no, because you I might die. You took five. Okay. You would have taken five. I might die. Um, but yeah, so Nova, you watch the kind of, uh, once Zarkira is now Nova's this kind of headband that she's wearing, this kind of spiked metal crown, um, a single amethyst in the middle of it pulses, and all of you, including D1, because I think that's enough, um, vanish, and you suddenly feel, and it's almost shocking to your system, like your heart kind of like jumps for a second as you find yourself in cool, cold sky air. Um, as you whoosh, back onto the, the Storm Chaser. Um, you probably would appear on the deck because I don't Aww. think Nova's room is big enough. Um, but you kind Funny, of though. thump. You land with a sort of loud kind of like clatter. Um, as, yeah, you kind of all appear. You hear like a few like, ah! from the wolf pack and like they all point guns in your direction. And like Kamara's like, stand down, stand down. It's, it's the captain and the crew. Um, yeah, Lucius will get up and I'll run to the edge where we see the volcano, mm -hmm. and I'm just gonna observe what the volcano is doing. Yeah, so you watched, like, get out the way. Uh, way. kept, like, she basically pulled the ship to a distance where she could keep an eye on it, but was far away from the, the, the construct, um, because that was still stood there after it fell, it was then resuming its previous oh, pattern. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, so she's pulled the ship far enough away, and you watch as the, the cloud and the ash clouds and lava that was spewing, you, you see, after maybe a, a couple of minutes, the ash stops and the lava stops, and it just seems to slowly become calm um, and darken in colour. Uh, and that's that's there's no dramatic explosion or anything like that. Lucius just spins around with that in the background, puts his elbows on the edge of the ship, and then just slides down. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes, you all look quite 
lobster red. Like, pretty much all of you, I think all of you took enough damage where you are, like, definitely, like, burnt in places. The magical mm. protection's kind of wearing down. I think the only one who doesn't have that is probably Max. <laughs> like, even Valor's, like, oh, yeah. got, like, some, like, you know, red skin. Um, but Max looks normal. Um, and D1, obviously, looking like that. And D1 is just like... I can confirm that the project has been successful. Volcano, uh, volcano eruptions and seismic activity in this area should now be reduced by 70%. Okay, good. Good. Oh, we did it. Oh, now I know what a fire ganassi feels like. Imagine feeling like this all the time. I must admit the lava is quite intense, but I didn't mind the ambient temperature. It was a bit closer to home. Well, great. Great, Max. Great. <laughs> I'm melting. <laughs> I'm like laying on my back and I'm slowly going to push myself back with my legs just slide across the ground. <laughs> I wanted to slowly move to my room. <laughs> <laughs> Taking like, like three foot like little like slide. Slide. I'm going slide. to bed. <laughs> I'll go look for some cold compressors. Greylano might have yeah, some. Yeah, Greylano is like probably like as soon as they hear like she's rushing up and they've got like cool compresses. They'll help carry people to their chambers. Um, Araya is like you know like absolutely like take take all the rest we can manage things from here. Uh, Captain will keep will will stay in the vicinity. We won't leave the area until you're feeling uh, better. Um, Rehydrate. Take lots of fluids in. I hear that's good for fluid um, folks I, like yourself. I was like, oh, good idea, Sentry. I'll go get I'll go get the water oh, barrels oh, and I'll yes, fill up some some yes. drinks. Not even like a beer. No, that's probably not a good idea, is it? I'll I, take a beer. All right, I'll get a beer for me, Sailor. Okay. <laughs> okay, lovely, lovely. Right. Uh, report from deck, please, Araya. Uh, everything seems fine, Captain. Once we left the area, the construct stopped attacking us. Um, I pulled us away and lowered us so that we weren't in the, the ash cloud. So far, I mean, there was still, there's still eruptions going on, but they seem to, ever since you teleported, they seem to be coming down, so. Excellent work. Everybody. I think the... Great uh, job. Uh, excellent work to you, Captain. I mean, what happened with the skiff? Uh, should we go and reclaim it once things have calmed down? Uh... Yeah. Put a pin in that one. All right, putting a pin in it, sir. <laughs> yes. Uh, now, take the list. pin out, let it fall to the floor, it's dead, it's gone. <laughs> ah, right, well, we should definitely probably speak to uh, Lillian Sprocket about building a new one when we get back to I the I think horizon. so, yes. All right, okay. I've mm. moved about ten foot. I stop. I slowly turn around. I wanted to be more professional, Captain. Permission to leave deck? Yes, you're you're above that. Okay. <laughs> I think at this point, I'm just like <laughs> Faith and like some of the wolf pack, like, Quill, well, come on, let us take you, and they'll like pick you up and carry uh... you. <laughs> I'm slicking back like the hair. Oh yeah, your hair is, is like, like drenched in sweat. Yeah. Just looking around, it's like, do you think birds sweat? Made all the feathers and... I read somewhere about it sometime once, but I'll be honest, I can't recall right now. Hey, Quill! Do you sweat? No. <laughs> he doesn't sweat. <laughs> you stay very muffled from downstairs. I wish. I wish that were me. Do wish I were a birdie. I'll fetch you a tin bath of cold water. Lucius. No. Nice. What did you say? <laughs> hmm? What did you say? I wish oh, I something. No. I wish I was a birdie. No, Do you have the ring of wishes. Yes, that is not what you said, is it? It is exactly, it's exactly what, what he said. <laughs> yes. no! 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 <laughs> Second, did you not say I wish I couldn't sweat like Birdie? Said I wish that were me. I wish I couldn't sweat. I'm gonna take it on the because I asked you to confirm. I'm gonna take it. I wish that were me and I couldn't sweat. Which the wish oh, first. Yeah, I wish that were me. I wish I was a Birdie. Yeah, that's what I said. Yeah. Uh, so <laughs> we wasted it! You watch oh, no. as the ring around Lucius' <laughs> oh, oh, no. no. flares to life. Hold on. This is <laughs> amazing. And Lucius's body is completely covered in white light. You watch as Lucius, you like, you feel like you go numb for a second. Like your vision blurs, it goes completely white. <laughs> and the rest of you watch as like his limbs begin to shift and change. And then what emerges is no longer a high elf, 
but a peacock aracope. Of <laughs> <laughs> course. And all the purple oh, colours, but still dressed in like an outfit similar to Lucius's, but you have it now with wings instead of arms, like with hands just like quills, like an aracoca of a Rois, um, in the design of a peacock, as your race has been changed, and I will update that uh, in your character sheet. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, Lucius, what did you say? <laughs> Quill, don't look. And yes, Kim, I have a hundred percent been waiting for Lucius to use the so I said take I the win. ring off. <laughs> <laughs> I will tell you. I will tell you a funny story. I once played in a campaign with a friend of mine when I we used to work as a game dev in Brighton. I had a ring of three wishes that um, we had in that campaign. And this was all to do, like, there was some big plot about, like, a wizard trying to blow up the moon. And he had this big throne that would, like, control this thing. And I remember I was in the exact same position where I was wearing this ring, didn't think about it. I said, I wish we could move this thing. And the DM went, what did you say? <laughs> <laughs> and ever since then, oh. You've waited. I was so confused. That moment where you said... What, what did, did you just say? You, you, just... Really, you were like, why do you care? Yeah. My stomach as literally As soon as you went, said it, what? I was like, you fucking idiot! <laughs> I thought you were going to make some dumb reference to something. <laughs> you, look like, nope. you look like a shark that scented blood in the water. Because <laughs> 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 like, it took me a second. Like He said it, and I was like, oh, oh. That, that's funny. I, I, like, I think my brain literally went like, oh, it'd be funny if Lucius had a ring of three witches! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, um, this you now. Century so yeah, your vision comes back, and you're like, oh, it feels a bit. Oh, I'm not sweating. You do you feel like, oh, I'm not sweating anymore. I don't feel very oh. sweaty. Oh, yes. oh. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I'm a bird. <laughs> Like, and you see, like, the big <laughs> tail, like, as you get Whoosh. emotionally surprised, like, the big fan of the big <laughs> tail, like... <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> what do I do? I start running around. Yeah, you run around, like, you kind of, flapping. Like, you come off the ground a little bit as you're on the... Oh, you fall back down. Okay. Oh, this is fine. Oh, don't panic. Don't panic, everyone. <laughs> Everything's okay. Quill, you might want to come back. Lucius is a bird. He's a... Fair. He's a what? <laughs> he's, he's a bird. Turn me around! Turn me around! <laughs> like, like, Faith is like, come on, and like, she drags her up. And like, Faith is like, oh my god. <laughs> like, the holds are like, Quill, I'm you! <laughs> that is not me! You're not me! I'm not that! Well, he's got two wings. Actually, no, peacocks don't have wings. Uh, uh, the uh, Cobra peacocks have wings. Okay. I'll put it that way. What did you do? I don't know. Uh, I think the ring, by the way, uh, it has now turned to like dull black, and it oh, just falls no, to dust. Oh no, because there was only one there wish only on one. it. This is why I said oh. to not wear it, because oh. he's wasted our wish. Oh. Someone's a level nine sorcerer. It's okay. <laughs> I mean, true. <laughs> you're, you're still wearing that ring, aren't you, Lucius? Keep in mind, Lucius. You say that wishing to undo this is not replicating a spell, there will be a chance that you can never cast <gasps> it again. You're but still... it's a different kind of wish. Yeah, that's the point. Like, yeah, like... As in, like, it's from a different source. Mm, no, but casting the wish spell to do anything that doesn't replicate mm. a spell has an inherent risk, always, whenever you do it, that there's a chance... I'd never of... get wish again. Yeah. Which is, is important. I just imagine if you'd slightly change that to I wish I could never sweat. <laughs> <laughs> that would be no sweat glands. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Well, that might have had like imagine if it was like you can't sweat so you die of like de like whatever like the yeah. you know the yeah. intense heat build up or something. You have to pan like a dog. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 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 or I become a dog. Oh, yeah, it's, it's a counter. Oh god. Yeah. Yeah. Although they sweat through their paws. Yeah. Um, oh. <laughs> but I mean, okay. So <laughs> he's wearing. I'm, I'm just gonna pick up Peacock Lucius's claw and just be like, he's wearing the ring. It just crumbles. Yeah, it turns to black and oh, just. No. He was, oh no. He was wearing the ring. Oh no, the I ring was wearing the ring. Ah. What did I say? He said, "You wish you were a bird like Quill." Wait, do you have a ring? Careful. Everyone, don't say the W word anymore. No, we don't have <laughs> that ability. I do. Wait. You should be very careful. How charismatic is he? He's got high charisma, hasn't he? Yeah, Lucius does. Oh, yeah. he's gorgeous. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's no. <laughs> That's a good looking bird. I've got like pearlescent feathers and like different lights. <laughs> What's the matter, bird? <laughs> 
<laughs> and you're right, that just made it worse. That did not help your case. <laughs> your tail feathers are like spread out as well. Oh, okay. yeah, like, yeah. Yeah. So good. Soft frame. <laughs> slightly glittery. So one thing I will say is like Lucius will be slightly less charismatic now because his character is literally going to be changing race. Yeah. So like if you were gaining, mm. well then actually you were a high off, so I don't think you got charisma bonuses anyway. Actually, no, I think uh, it was. But just your stats this. will shift around slightly. <laughs> oh my god! Uh, Excuse me while I write this in red in my diary. But he's yeah, still, he's but he's also, he's still Lucius, so he still has one eye. One of his peacock eyes is blue and the other one is now orange. His feathers have a blue and orange motif yeah. with the purple and like the peacock, you know, coloration and stuff like that. Um, and then he also like, 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 like the blonde hair kind of becomes like more like yellow white feathers rather than mm. being like hair One and stuff. like feather that like flicks out. Yeah. Oh wait, that's a different kind of bird, parakeet. Yeah. Has his uh, clothing like adapted to yeah. this yep. new form? Mm. Okay. I would say so. Uh, he's like a Donald Duck. He doesn't have pants now. <laughs> he's just oh. got the vest. Do I not have the Lucius pink frilly underwear? Undies. No. Oh, I mean, I've got good. like I've got like a almost. I want to say tabard. It's not quite the right word. You have like a long yes. vest. Yeah. 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 But you're still Donald Duck in it. You're still not wearing pants. <laughs> yeah, there's nothing. Half cock in it. Yeah, half full cock in it. Okay. Uh. I, I mean, um, I've got nothing I've, at this point. I can't take the rest of this episode seriously, so I think we should just end and no, go home. No, we Let's just go hour. home. Let's go home. It's just going to be Lucius, just peacocking around. I, I, I don't want it, this to affect anything. If it, I'm just going to... Uh, I'm just going to have a think about this. Um, everyone back to... Back to whatever you were doing. <laughs> just like feathers. <laughs> Captain P... Lu Lucius. Don't look at me. Okay. Don't look at me right now. You just but run. You look amazing, <laughs> okay? <laughs> Slam the door. The, what was the chain of events that got him to say the words that he said? He wished he was like you. Why? Because so he didn't he could All right, swear. I think he said something along the lines of like, I, I wish that I was, I couldn't sweat like a bird, or I wish I was a bird so I couldn't sweat like Quill, or something like that. Yeah. Oh my. Oh my. But that's just a thing. He had a ring that could grant a wish. Yeah. Two. Yeah. Oh, zero now. We've used them both. How much of the wolf pack? No, they only like, had one. One, only had one, one wish. wish. One. And he, zero now. We used the one. That's what I said. Well, I guess at least Gross can never ca cast a wish again. True. Uh, yeah, it great. would have been probably useful, you know, in the world-ending times. Could you use your oh, wait. Mm. Yeah, I use that. My eyes like. Blue and orange. Yeah, it's still blue and orange. Yeah, you still have your dichromancy. Cool. Everything still remains. It's just you are now a bird man. <laughs> you are a peacock man. Um, I'm gonna just be staring at myself in the mirror and just like yeah, looking away and yeah. looking back. Yeah. I mean, there's still there's still something quite beautiful about it because like you know the peacock is an elegant animal like, and stuff. Yeah. But you're like not appreciating like you. an animal yeah. being beautiful yeah. rather than yourself. Myself. Yeah. yeah, and it's also like it's not you. It's so bizarre. Like you lift your arm and it doesn't. It's like the wing is light. You feel airy. I'm gonna check the color of my tongue. Whatever mm -hmm. a peacock, I don't know what color it is. So. Probably like blue, gray. Something like that. Yeah. Um, <gasps> it's peacock colored. <laughs> Whatever that means. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, so he said that he doesn't want this to affect things. How can it not <laughs> really, real quick? Do I have to teach him how to be an Aracocra now? You might have, have to teach him how to fly? how to fly. Because if he falls off the. the I'm going to have to give him yeah. dust baths for a while. You're going to have. You need to teach him everything you know about being an Aracocra because if. We can't. That's a lot. But it, we need. We. I don't know how to be a, a, an elf, though. So Our next just, diplomatic meeting are. is going to be quite interesting. Oh man, Prince Aradan's going to be yeah. pissed. Age worst. You are you are the equivalent age of what? So Lucius was like a young elven man. He, he was like age. a coming of age. So you are now the same. So you're about Quill's age. So what, okay. like two, two three, two, <laughs> three, yeah, yeah. Uh, two. But it, well, two you still have all your knowledge and experience. But yeah. your lifespan is now. Yeah, you're just left like two or three year old, whatever we. I am uh, Aracocra, who has lived for however long Lucius was. Uh, probably like seventy odd years, I think, for an elf in Aroes. Like he's probably about um, adult mm. adult. That's pretty good, but I mean, Aracocra are learning faster because they die quicker. So <laughs> well, it's, oh, he's not quite yeah, long left. He's, yeah. he's on his way yeah. out. Can peacocks fly? Peacocks don't fly. Well, he had Ar long Aracocra wings. peacocks fly. Mm. Aracocra so isn't. Uh, it's it's, it's their own race. He's, he's yeah. not a bird. He's an Aracocra. They, look like they one. just he has the stylings of a yeah. peacock. Yeah. Mm. Imagine that. So his arms are attached at the wings as well, which is. Yeah. I imagine it's more like a hovercopter because of the back. 
of the wings. Apparently, peacocks do fly. Okay. Just I have seen obviously not wings. very often. I thought they just don't do go very far. Yeah, they're... probably not, but they I've do fly. They've got a fancier tail, that's all. Yeah. yeah. They're too busy being fancy. Yeah. Well, they make that weird fly. noise. Ooh! <laughs> <laughs> You That's hear that good. muffled <laughs> from my That's off. probably like when you first transformed, that was the noise you made. <laughs> <laughs> I love peacocks. They're cool. So are we just going to go about as normal here? I, well, what are we doing? Uh, Valor is just like, like she's laughing. Like she's been laughing and like she's like been looking away and is like. <sighs> I think we need to pretend like this is just normal and that we could just, just carry on as normal because... There must, there must be a way that we can reverse. I'm sure maybe Sayana or one of the, uh, the Titans or, or maybe... I mean, Lucius himself, he, he, he's mastered powerful magic now. He must be able to undo this. Uh, I, 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 got, I got nothing, honestly. There must be something we can do. I mean, I, mm. Lucius won't want to stay... Not that there's anything wrong with being an Arakoka quill, but like it's not Lucius. Why did we give him the ring? He took That's it. He didn't really question. give us a choice. And I did say to him to put it in his pocket, and he clearly and has failed to do so. It was very pretty. He was very excited about the Nova and uh, Thalia thing, and then so oh. then he was that keeping was hold of it because... It. That was why you had it, because you were yeah, going to do I it. I should have taken it. I was very excited about yeah. I should have taken it, but I was time. so distracted by the hand thing. Yeah, that was a big thing. Oh, yeah. my goodness. It cuts to me trying to... No. <laughs> 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 that, doesn't, that doesn't happen. <clears throat> so, okay. So we pretend this is all normal. Yeah. With that. Just allow Lucius time to just, you know, just... just oh, adapt. you're going to have to keep me away and from him. I don't think I can do it. <laughs> we... Just well, we, you all need a rest. We all we all need a rest. We, that, that was quite intense in, in Volcanos. We, we need to take some time. I don't know, compared to this, though? <laughs> compared to what so, just happened? Ma Max looks at you as like, really, Sentry? Uh, Lucius turning into a birdman is quite upsetting, but we, we did almost get roasted alive in a volcano. Surely that does quantify as a bit higher. This is scale. rejuvenated. Am I the only one who's not upset by this? I think it's fascinating. I'm a I'm mildly pissed off at the fact that we don't have a wish, the but wish I'm is more gone. I'm more finding it quite amusing and thinking of a lot of jokes that I need to suppress mm. because it's not the right time. He might be a bit sensitive. Maybe give it a day. I mean, days. I'm not going to be able to give it an hour, so you're going to need to keep me away from him. <laughs> Write them down. I can put you in. I, I can, can put you in a demi plane for a, a, a few hours if that helps. Sure. Okay. Vala will literally hold her hand and she draws like the outline of a door. She yeah. opens it and inside is like a white room. Mm. Um, I'm just gonna go chill. Here's some parchment and a quill so you can write them down. I'm just gonna draw bird Lucius, but okay. And I'll just walk <laughs> into the. I'll open it in, in an hour or two? Yeah, sure. That's fine. Yeah. Okay. yeah. She just, the door vanishes and you are now in a like sure. doorless white room. Bye, Ayla. <laughs> Um, so just do some push-ups. <laughs> yeah, that's it. You can just, work just do out. a little workout. Yeah. I just think I think we should let Lucius rest, come to terms with it, and we do whatever Lucius wants to do. If he wants to stay as a peacock arrow, then we support that. If he wants to go back to being a high elf, we support that. If he wants to turn into a golem, we support that. Okay, but what about... Now, I know this sounds like an odd question, but I'm not thinking straight right now. The Storm Chaser's brand. We already have a magical Aracocra. <laughs> <laughs> Do we need to? <laughs> Quill, I'm sensing a touch of jealousy here. I'm fine. Is it because, <laughs> is it because his tail feathers are bigger than yours? No. Mm. Is it because his plumage is more resplendent than yours? Mm. It was incredibly resplendent, it was wasn't beautiful. it? He was beautiful. Yeah. Just that huge colourful. fan of feathers. Very mm. colourful, very yeah. colourful. But, but like a parrot is colourful, but he was elegant. It's something mm. else. Yeah. It's like almost, yes. almost emitting his own light. Mm. Mm. Like, right, right, right. There was right, a shimmer, right, wasn't right, it? Yeah. I wonder if right. that was to do with the dancing lights, maybe? Might have been, yeah. yeah, yeah. Definitely magically infused. Yeah. Not all natural. Can't have been. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you're not all natural, Quill. 
Well, yes, I am. Gesture at the I did, yeah, but yeah. I was still, still. Look at me. Look at the yellow on me. Yeah, we are looking at you, and it's definitely not the same. Are you way. kidding me? Well, <laughs> I mean, he was beautiful. I mean, you're you're nice, but you're not beautiful. I mean, I got some oil. Like maybe some like, put some oil on your feathers. We and tried it, it once before, and I kept yeah. slipping everywhere. Very greasy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I fell over so many times. Very greasy. <sighs> well, well, fine. Let us rest and 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 come back at this tomorrow. I I, I, I think especially some of you definitely need rest. Um, Max and I could certainly use a rest as well. That that took a lot out of me. Um, I don't think I'll need at least twenty four hours before I can breach Valena's demi plane if we can find it. If the maidens help us, but um, I won't be ready for some time. So we we have some time to rest at least. Yeah, it's a good idea. good sleep sounds like a good idea. Mm -hmm. I think so. Also, I am quite curious what Ayla's going to do in that demi plane. She'll probably get hench. Probably. <laughs> I don't know what happens if she tries to destroy it. Interesting. Anyway, um, Max and I are going to go retire. I need some sleep. Uh, rage room. We'll see. It's a literal, literal rage, rage room. room. Literal rage room. Yeah. And so Ayla, in this room, like if you do get bored and you start like punching walls or like hitting with your hammer, like this place is like you can't damage it. Like you can smack the wall, like everything as hard as you can, and it just does nothing. Um, yeah. Sure. I'm just gonna have. It's just like go <laughs> mental. <laughs> Nice. Yeah, right. Can anyone, before we go, can anyone hear a low kind of grinding noise? Like it's coming from the direction of. Oh. Mm -hmm. oh. <laughs> oh. Just the beak. It's so <laughs> grinding against the so Back to my room. Look in the mirror. Do you still want that tin bar? You ugly water? bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Just punch the mirror. <laughs> right. Uh, oh, no, that's it. Stone chases are over. <laughs> With that, uh, you may all take a long rest. Yay! Oh my it god! It takes me a bit to get to sleep. Well, I mean, it doesn't even. Yeah, I mean, like, I'm assuming that this is like maybe eight hours, not of sleep, but of pacing and sort of. I'm just like trying to figure myself out. Yeah. Like I lie in bed. I can't. It's so I'm bizarre. Like, like, here. Yeah, and like your wings are in uncomfortable positions. Like, how like, does Quill do it? Like face down. No, put the duvet beak. on, and then my tail just explodes, <laughs> and the duvet flies off. Yeah. <laughs> you actually find that like perching on the bed and sort of just pulling your wings in is the most comfortable, like sitting down. Never actually figured out how Quill sleeps. I mean, so he sleeps like a bird. He like perches and yeah. then kind of brings himself in. On right? top of a tent, high places. <laughs> On the prow of the ship. <laughs> <laughs> Is he asleep? Yeah. <laughs> He's asleep. Yeah, and also that's the other thing, actually, Lucius. Like, even if you try and sleep, like normally you would meditate. That, that's not. That's not working. Like you, oh, you yeah. can't fall into a trance. Like, I also can't would. sit cross-legged. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I can't do it. Um, yeah, but you and and for the first time, like when you do eventually fall asleep, you dream. Which is something you have never had as Lucius. No, I have not. Because as an elf, they don't dream. Yeah. So, so you've got like 70 years of dreams to catch up on. <laughs> this is going to be a nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, um, it's very interesting. You think about that. You can have a think about that. I will. Um, but yeah, so enjoy your long rest. Mm. Make sure you've activated it on D&D Beyond. It's never been easier. I have. Excellent. Um, I'm now an Aracocra. You've already after, changed it. I've changed it. After a few hours, uh, oh yeah, did you just change it? You just swapped it out. So it's my Jackson um, wisdom. wisdom shifted around. Yes. So you've got a fly speed now. Because I think yeah, as high up, you would have dropped a point of intelligence and gone up a point of wisdom. I uh, think. It's Dex up, Wiz down. Oh, okay. Wait a minute. Can everyone fly now? Mm, yeah. In For some way. Well, in some way. Anyway. Yeah. But I mean, without casting the fly spell. I think we can all now fly. I can levitate lower. naturally, but fly unnaturally. Still. I can in 10 minutes. Yeah. All part of the plan. Sentry's actually probably the one here who can't properly like, <coughs> fly and Still. Um, okay. Ayla, you are released from the demi plane after like a couple of hours. Uh, Valor will basically open it and be like, do you want to? You can stay in there as long as you like, but it will get quite boring. There's nothing really to do in there. Oh, it's fine. I'll come out now. I'll go. But I'll, I'm just gonna go take a nap. Thanks. Okay. This is yeah. good, though. You know what? We I can't. Could... I can only do this twice a day. So. Oh, just, we could know. really use it for like training and stuff because you yeah. can't damage stuff. Yeah. You know, like when I've been training the wolf pack on the deck, sometimes some things get broken. Don't tell Lucius. It happens though. So. Well, the other one is, is if we're back in Horizon, you could probably ask um, Mrs. Aria 
her tower. I know it's a bit creepy, but she can make a space of anything she wants. She could make you a room in there as well. That's a good plan. You could fight like you could fight those bone skeleton butlers or like those banshee maids. You could fight them to your heart's content. Yeah, I think it's a good training opportunity. Nice. Well, enjoy. Vala just lets you kind of go about your business. Um, and yeah, you guys all enjoy your long rest. <laughs> when you come out of the long rest, you're actually kind of brought out of your long rest by Araya and Howard coming uh, to kind of be like, ah, uh, just to let you know, I hope that you've all rested, you've got your energy back. That strange diamond dwarf woman uh, is asking to speak with everyone. She wants to speak with the, the five of you when you are mm. ready. Um, Arias purposely not looking at Lucius. He's like looking at like something else in the room. Like, if that's okay, Captain. Lucius has got his captain's hat on. <laughs> like, but it's like not? it does not fit your new head. Like it's like sliding all over the place. I'm trying to balance it on my head. <laughs> that was the script. I throw it. Thank you. Hello, very, everyone. Very, very good, Captain. <laughs> How are you feeling, Lucius? Well, um, it's. It's strange. Um, I've got extra plumage. Mm -hmm. um, it doesn't feel like I'm wearing a costume. It oh, immediately with the plumage! <laughs> <laughs> cool, is there? Are you okay? I'm fine, Lucius. What's the matter? I. You big wing. I unfurl a wing. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I, I. It's longer, longer arms with wings. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> Am I gonna have to teach you how to fly? I don't know, Quill. I don't know how long I'm going to be like this. Is there a way back? There Is, is there a way, way back? back, but there's a risk. Of? Never having the ability to do the W's again. And the W's might be very useful for facing such incredible things that we're going to face. So risk it. Okay, cool. <laughs> do, do, do you want to, though? Wow. Do you want to? I think it's for the best. Okay. Um, not that I've got anything against being a birdie. It's quite nice. But apart from I slept standing up. Yeah. Yeah, you're going to have to do that. I, I felt on. really safe when I tucked my wings in and just nestled my beak into, the, into my wings. Mm -hmm. It's really cozy, huh? And also, I don't know if this is a bird thing, but I went places, but not me. What, when? <laughs> what? Well, it, it was strange. It was like I went to a variety of different places, but it didn't, it didn't make sense. Did you leave it, the ship? No, 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 I, was, I, I came back to and I was where I am, but it wasn't like- Came back to? As in, I woke up, I think, Wait, while you were sleeping. Came out of trance is probably what Lucius would say, because you would normally. Oh, I trance. came out of my meditative state, my trance, overnight, and I was still in the same place. But I felt like I went on an entirely different journey. Sometimes I wasn't even me. Did you plane our shift? I can't do that. I don't think, hmm. unless. Did you do a commune? Was there like a? Was there somebody else there with you? It's a point century. Doesn't know what dream. <laughs> I don't, no. I don't dream. I mean, not as anyone. No, right? no, 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 no. It's like this. Only you two have any hope. Only like, you two have any idea. Like, what I it think is. like Nova and Quill are smart enough to be like. You think he's talking about dreams? Yeah. I mean, overnight, you went somewhere. Yes. And you have no rec Do you remember where you went? Uh, fragments of it. It felt like a wishy-washy. And some oh, points yeah. stuck yeah. out, and other points did not. Mm -hmm. yeah. Do you want to tell him? Mm, no. At some point, there was someone coming up to me, and for some reason, I felt aggressive, and I was trying to hit them, but there was nothing there, and it was very frustrating. Right. So, yeah. Yeah. The, the yeah. swinging punch. It doesn't. You yeah. feel like yes. you have no force. Oh, you've been there. Mm. Oh yeah, yeah. No. Uh, did you uh, fly in there? I struggled to fly. You struggled to fly. He's one of those ones. Okay. Were you naked in front of your classroom? No, I don't think so. Okay. What What are you saying? What is happening? You, you want me to tell me. You dreamed. Yeah. I dreamed. You dreamed. Mm. Yeah. That's what that is? It happens yeah. when you sleep. Yeah. People get it all the time. Mm -hmm. That's very well, bizarre. Well, not... Oh, not, sorry, yeah. Oh, not, sorry. Yeah, okay, not, so, yeah. I, I guess it's now the majority of dreamers in the party, so that's good. Mm. How do you... Cope with such a thing. It's a whole other reality, almost. Well, some people believe that dreams are an exploration of your psyche. Yeah. My what? Your... Who are you trying to punch? I honestly, it was fuzzy. It's, 
not like I could recognize what it was. Okay. Oh, and sorry, just to correct you, no, but it's not necessarily uh, of their psyche. I, mainly my dreams are messages of ill omen from gods. Well, not all of us <laughs> are touched by the gods, are we? No. 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 So should I do something about what I saw? Is there a... No, Definitely very... do not act on dreams, no. It's a very natural right. thing. It... Some say it's a way of processing your day or processing the future or processing fears and anxieties you have. This sounds like a bad deal. Hmm. It was very straight. I wouldn't recommend it. Sounds stressful. Yeah. It was very stressful. If you start to break it, I'm I'm already forgetting things about it. That's the great yeah, thing about it's it. Normal. Yeah. yeah. Oh. After a few moments, uh, the door opens and you get a very sort of like, howdy, champions! Oh, and D1 sort of boom, 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 My feathers boom, go kind of comes in. Um, My goodness, champion Lucius, you appear to have been transformed into an Aracocra. Quite astute, yes. Thank you, D1. Surprising. I have come okay. to bear a message from Mistress Velena. Mm -hmm. Okay. What is the message? Mistress Velena would like to invite you to complete her final project within her demiplane. I am here to guide the way. Okay. Uh, uh, well, what about the right uh, the other thing? Mistress Velena believes that the now uh, believes that the device attached to Volcanos and completing her project will see the underwater seismic activity also decrease. Oh, okay. Hmm. Amazing. So we've solved the problem. What about the uh, the gemstone dwarves? They will continue working on the second project. This will take some time to complete, but it is believed that if you are able to help Mistress Valena in her final project, they will be able to complete their work faster. And I'm assuming you cannot disclose what the project is until we go there. I do not have, fi I do not have immediate informational access as to what the final project is. I do know that it is related to the uh, preservation and safety of the knowledge and identity of Aroas <laughs> oh, I really thought you were yeah, going somewhere. Yeah. So you I do not know what. Hey, okay. <laughs> slight inflection. Are, are we all feeling? We should probably tell Vala that Vala. that's a thing. She can right. go get her. Somebody because she was going to try and find Demi Plane, and you know. Yes. Do you mind, Howard? Thank you. I was like, oh yeah, certainly, certainly. Comes back. Vala's like, oh, uh, yes. Howard mentioned something about um, D1. You had a message about um, Valena's invited us to her demi plane. Yeah, we catch catch up, yeah. Vala. Well, I mean, uh, that would be better. Uh, forcing my way into the demi plane is not only exhausting for me, but it, it is quite invasive. If Valena is inviting us, I, I suggest that we take it if possible. Um, I can still accompany you in case there are any complications. Oh, yes, could you get us? If there are any difficulties, yes, I should be able to. Yes. Is there a way to communicate with the crew? Whilst in the demi plane, unfortunately not. No. All right. Even sending spells, because these demi planes are created by the Titans themselves, it does limit communication. Normally, a, another plane we would still be able to use the sending spell, but um, in the Titans demi planes, it won't be functional. Can it affect the way time works? It can, yes, in slight ways. Valena, I don't suspect, will affect it too much. Not like She's the quite fae. orderly. No, I don't believe so. Right, Araya. Um, yes, Captain. We will be disappearing quite literally into a demiplane of a god. Very well, Do we, are we going there? Or are you teleporting? Uh, I, I, why, why, am, <laughs> why am I talking like that? I don't understand. Uh, will you be teleporting away? Do we need to f take the ship there? Or? Um, until further orders, please remain stationary, as stationary right. as possible. Uh, we should hopefully return to the same spot here. So okay. just stay on guard. And other than that, um, Wait for our return, I assume. Okay. Thank you, Arai. Right. Well, let's not go just yet. D1, uh, is there any particular time limit on this invitation? Uh, do we have to go right now? You do not have to attend right now. Mistress Valena is uh, currently busy with her projects. She has merely asked me to pass on the invitation. But I will say that the sooner that you are able to help Miss Valena with her final project, the faster it will be that the underwater seismic activity will be reduced. I see. People's lives are in danger. And we should probably... I just... I just I, I, are you... How are you? How are you feeling? Do you want... Do you, do you need something to eat before we go? Are you a bit peckish? Well, we're stopping the stop of seismic no. activity on my behalf. I just... Can you... Are you able to walk? Right, I'm right. fine! <laughs> yeah. I billow my wings. <sighs> the tail. Honestly, I, I'd be okay. We can solve this later. Okay. This is the least of our concerns. 
Well, just so you're aware, yes. Lucius, I know that you care a lot about your appearance. I look resplendent. You do. He does, actually. Damn it, he's aware. I was going to say, you're beautiful, Lucius. <laughs> God damn it, <laughs> you're beautiful. <laughs> Thank you, Quill. I, I had no idea. Um, I'm starting to get used to the, the concept of being a bird. Don't. I won't get too <laughs> comfortable with the idea. Don't worry. Okay. Well, we'll figure this out. Va- Valor looks at Ayla and says, well, you know what they say. Birds of a feather flock together. <laughs> like, you didn't. You ignored my peckish joke. <laughs> oh, I, I, I got it. I got <laughs> you got it. it. You it got went it. Over my bird brain. I wrote it down. <laughs> I wrote it down. Yeah. I've been thinking. Okay, a lot. you don't have yeah. bird brain pass because you're an Aracocra now. Well, I think I do. <laughs> you know what? I can't argue it. I'm not cosplaying, am I? What is What's it cosplay? cosplay? <laughs> no, that term exists in a row, so I've decided. Yeah. <laughs> of course Everyone the cosplaying cosplay DMs is. decided. Oh, play. what the people do when yeah, they laugh. It fates and fairs all the time, yeah. I guess. Masquerade it. balls. LARPers. Yeah. LARPers cosplay, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was if LARP. bakers and blacksmiths exists in this world, That's LARPing true. exists exactly. in this world. Exactly. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Um, I say we go to the demiplane right away. How everyone else in? As long as you are comfortable to cast spells and be... I can ask all my cantrips that are non-destructive. Yep. Dancing lights, okay, lightning good. lure. <laughs> <laughs> need to get, get over here. No need to get your feathers in a ruffle. Come on. It's I okay. see what's going on here. No, you don't. <laughs> hmm. She used to say this sort of stuff to me. If this and is going already, to cause a problem with then you're ignoring me. <laughs> I'm not ignoring dynamic. you. I'm just trying to bug you. I haven't you. got a problem. I'm not... Bug me. It's... You want me to? Yes. Anyone... I'll prepare, Quill. <laughs> <laughs> if anyone has an issue with the way I presently am and you think it's going to affect our mission to save Arois, speak now or forever hold your peace. It will be fine as long as you don't get yourself in a flap. Okay. I'll let you have that one, and that's it. Quill? Mixed feelings. Mixed. We're going into a demiplane of a god. This is going to affect things. Titan. Behind. Ballo, like, yeah, that would be me too. I've been raised for 70 years calling them a god. It's, it's understandable, so, yeah, it's understandable. Wait, how old are you now? Uh, I predict, actually, probably if we're going to condense a high elf timeline into an Aarakocra life cycle, then probably... About Maybe that. I shouldn't know. Just as we're going into a demiplane. I can see your fingers. I don't have... Well, I do have fingers. You do have fingers. <laughs> <laughs> D1 is just stood there, like, smiling. Like, same... D1. Happy. Century. Yes. Any I'm, final words? Oh, I'm fine. I'm, f- I'm fine. Yes. I feel like she's not telling you or something. No, 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 I'm fine. Say it, Sentry, say it. No, 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 say no, I'm it. fine. No, 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 I'm fine. Is it a joke? Because if so, you need to say it. Is it? No, I was just wondering if we all needed a calm of... I'm flustered! <laughs> <laughs> ah! Okay. Okay, okay, okay. okay. That's just Sentry. I need a chamomile tea before we go. Okay. Fine. Okay. That's fair. Yeah. We can all have a tea before we go. Yes, a calming tea before we go. Yes. 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 I think that's okay. a good idea. Howard's like, oh, I'll, I'll do it. Thank you, Thank you, Howard. That's a quill. Mm-hmm. You're my favourite bird. Did everyone hear that? <laughs> Did everyone hear that? Everyone. I'm not sure what you're supposed to achieve with that. But fair enough, quill. You're my favourite bird. Okay. Nice. He's so desperate for validation that that actually makes him feel better. <laughs> it does. It does. It does. Have you calmed down there? Uh, no, I know what. I'm you touched. have a lovely. You have a lovely cup of tea. Um, you know what? Yeah. You, I, you I still struggle with this concept. Yeah. Well, yeah. It's There's different. feathers and well, stuff. No, it's not the hand. It's the beak. Like. Oh. You're like <laughs> I don't. Yeah. Yeah. Like, how? Yeah. How big is your beak? I guess. Yeah. Quite. Right. Probably similar, similar to you. Similar-ish. Even then, like trying to get into a cup, it's a bit more slender than like, yours. You can't like drink the tea. You have to do the. <laughs> I, I the turn away ones. and then ravenously. Very like... elegant. <laughs> yeah. No, no I this. lift my entire head up. Oh, that, oh, that's and the other one. Pour it in. Pour it in. <laughs> <laughs> Great idea, Sentry. Oh, I'm glad you think so. Are you ready to part uh, to travel towards Mistress Valena's demiplane? Yes. Yeah, I think, yeah. Mm. yeah. Yes. I Excellent. Yeah. I will inform your navigator on where to take your ship. Ah. Oh, hi. Hello. Hi, I'm the navigator. Howdy. 
please descend to these coordinates. And then uh, she will literally hold up her palm and it reads in like runic script on the palm of her hand. Like, oh, great. A series of coordinates. Hold your palm up, follow me. We're going to go up to the uh, console. Very good. Uh, Nova, just... perhaps it's worth Tim going, going into the core for this. Sorry, I'm so distracted by the... Is it the eye? <laughs> That's probably the giant tail feathers. I can't control those. As you are having this discussion, Quill takes uh, D1 up to the navigation console, and she inputs. Uh, you input coordinates that are under underwater. Like oh. she is taking you into a deep cavern that seems to go deep into the earth itself, um, amidst what appears to be a number of key solving structures and ruins. And it seems to be taking it through the ruins of part of the capital city of Old Sol. Oh. oh. Hmm. And that is where we are going to leave things this week. Wait, what? Time to end. All right. Oh, I did not realize the time yeah. at all. It is You're time too busy to being end. You're furious. But it's oh. also got different colored eyes. Yeah. One of mine's a storm. <laughs> You've got different colored eyes. You've got different colored eyes. Exactly. With that, with these uh, shenanigans going on, that is going to be it for this episode of Hyrule Zeroes. Thank you very much for watching. We will see you next time. Bye!